Yeah. I remember in school, yeah, yeah. there was this lady called M. Yeah. And she used to let me go. She used to let me go underneath the table. What? There's a rise in like Caucasians bred in Jamaica. Oh, like that's from, what you mean. Yeah. But yeah. they're saying like they're from they they they're part of the culture yard and do you mean like what M the R? But I mean, first of all, I was gonna mention the days. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I think we just need to address the elephant in the room because I'm still black. For 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 our audience watching, there there might be a slight confusion. Um, That's the what sir? Where we are? Right. I don't have a problem with Eminem. Yeah. I just think that I think. I'm only talking from what I see online. I think people think like he's came, he's taken what he needed out of hip hop. It's the Drizzy and Morgan show. Show, yeah, cool. show, um, show, show. Yo, quick question. Yo. If you wanted to, if you were invited to the freak off, yeah, mm-hmm. would you want it to happen before or after match of the day? <laughs> uh if we've won a game of football, yeah. match of the day first, then freak off. Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Like, you, you wanna but if you know you've lost, then you'd want to freak off. You always want to be with at least three or four girls mm-hmm. naked yeah. after you've had a game of football, your yeah. team's won a game of football. Do you know what I mean? I think it's important. I feel like this is a rhetorical question, but do you feel like you perform better <laughs> if your team has won just one of the football game? Do you feel like you perform better? I think the pump... Do you feel think, like you're yeah, the top yeah. man on the pitch? Yeah, the pumps The pumps is going to be a lot more better. It's yeah, going to yeah. be wow. more yeah. aggressive. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Aggressive, like... Take that, take that. Whoa. You, you you're still running with that? Okay. Uh, I would just like to say, while this is a uh, a, a, a two man leading show, but we do have additional uh, you know voices who contribute to the show. I can only speak for myself at this point. I want no part of that. I, he's <laughs> the decisions, opinions, or reflections of this Donny here yeah, yeah, yeah. do not resonate with me. Okay? You're not team. Take that. Take yeah, that. Yeah, yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> Hey Drizzy, now now we're in our forties, yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, Just, you, you, you don't look forty. By the way, I, I, I've been told that a couple of times. I'm waiting for the for the my gesture to be reciprocated. Don't beg it, bro. Carry on. <laughs> Fucking hell! Right. So, I don't, do right? Do you get? Do you, get, you don't you don't give compliments to receive cold, them. That's yeah, not what we're yeah, doing, bro. Okay, cool. Do you get excited when you get into bed at night now, as a, in your forties? <laughs> I get excited. Why? Like when I get, when I, I've had a long day, I get in my bed, I actually scream laughing. I go, ah! <laughs> as I'm putting the covers over me. That's not normal. No? No. Nah, that's not normal. I, I, do I need to be back outside again? Is that what you're saying? I'm not saying that either. Okay. <laughs> Don't put that on me. I'm just saying. <laughs> Sounds like it's the best part of your day. Yeah. yeah it that's is. That's worrying. It really is. Yeah. So you just skate past the missus and, and the prince. Fuck and them. it's the. <laughs> I, 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 I caught myself winking at uh, oh uh, Jesus Christ another black. oh my chest I, I thought you said you caught, I mean, when you said the W word I thought this guy was somewhere else alright cool what was, what was I the caught, thing? I went, just, <laughs> that was for myself because I shouldn't have I'm gone a, there sorry I'm, my bad I'm excited you know I'm excited about today already uh, I caught myself winking at another black man Jeez. Is that against the law? You know, like when you know when you're somewhere, yeah. And Context. You, like you might. I, I was in petrol station, and Stop. the line, the line behind me was full of white dons, and one black donny was in between them. Pause. So it was a racially aggravated. And as I'm walking, uh, as I've paid for my for my diesel, and I'm walking out of the Pause. petrol station, he's going past me, and you know, like you give that black man salute, like you give the heads up, or yeah, 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 like, not, not a wink. wink. I winked at him. A wink's like, I'll see you later. No, I don't. You got to relax. You got to relax. <laughs> a wink's like, I'll be right later for some midnight tea. You're, you're a disgusting <laughs> guy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're a disgusting <laughs> guy. I don't know, bro. How have we made it this far? <laughs> like, bro, you're, you're, you're foul, you know? <laughs> Give me the next man a wink. Like, good job, buddy. Oh, my God. Hey, listen, I, I don't want to start yet. I just want to talk to you lot for a minute. Like, I really do love you guys, man. I love Joe. Wait, wait, I really wait. I love Joe. I love Joe. Are you telling Joe you love him? I love Joe. to tell you he loves you back. No, no, no. This okay, cool. is, I don't need it to be reciprocated. Okay, my man. I, it's just, I'm just handing out the love. But you know what, though? Mm-hmm. I love you, my brother. Oh, guys. Drizzy? It's reciprocated. It's, bro... 
Bro? For those listening via the audio, that was a spud. That's why it went kind of quiet, but it was just spudding. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, if you want to see the spud, not that it was anything special, but if you want to see the spud, obviously check the YouTube, but carry on, sorry. No, it's, no I just feel like... Shameless plug. Love, the love is important, man. Yeah. People that need to express themselves more with that with that in mind. I think it's important to remember yeah. no one can love you like you love yourself. Oh, bro. I used to love myself regularly. With the lotion, yeah? Yeah. What was your... What was your uh, Tool of, uh, of of choice. Is it lotion, Vaseline, oil. water, yeah, yeah, oil? Yeah, yeah. Baby oil. Because we found some wood polish over there. Um, <laughs> and, lemon uh, oil. Lemon. <laughs> the, the lemon scented. Is it scented or flavoured? I don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> streets want to know. Um, lemon oil, wood polish. Baby, yeah. baby oil was the one. Yeah? Yeah, was it was you scared like it might go in your PB hole or something? Then? Oh, man, that was... Bro, that, bro when this oil... Like, baby oil was a good... Um, listen. Yeah. Ma'am, it sounds like you got something to say. Hello, yes. don't stop there. Hello, Hello. It's just a good um, lubricant. Has good slip. Yeah, yeah, okay, see it there. That's it. Bro, how do we get in the motorway? Bro, it's like, could you? Could, <laughs> you know what? You know I don't. I don't pull myself out anymore. Well, I, I broke the. Well, I you're broke, not meant to because if you're doing it, no, I broke yourself. the curse. I broke the curse. What do you mean? Hold on, sorry. I, Are you like, still talking about? Are you still talking about masturbation? You don't pull out anymore. I don't. Hold on. Huh? Wait, I'm confused. Yeah. Right, I don't watch porn and and jerk myself off anymore. I've I've managed so you, to, brother. You could have just said I stopped masturbating. I did say that. Why did you go around no, this long you... merry-go-round? I pull out. I, 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 pull I don't out. pull out no more. I, I stop masturbating. No and I'm okay. And I'm, you don't take your tigs out no more. Just say I don't oh, masturbate right. no more, bro. Yeah, and I've yeah. and I've broke the curse. Thank you. Thank I'm happy. You. For, I'm happy for you. Yeah, it, I think it was important, man. I'm happy for your swimmers. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm more hornier and I'm just more... <laughs> I'm more in touch with myself. Isn't it called... Cool? Well... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I think, I think we need to start. I think we need to start, okay. <laughs> right. um, people. <laughs> what has happened to the Fast Food Podcast? Why is Eminem discredited oh, sorry. in hip-hop culture? Okay. What are we going to play today. We're going to play some games and new music and we will discuss Premier League football. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dons and donets, welcome to the Drizzy hey. and Morgan Show. Yeah. Let's go. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Let's go. It's the Drizzy and Morgan Show. show welcome show, show. to the Drizzy and Morgan Show. He goes by the name of Drizzy Freckles. And he goes by the name of Morgan Heights. And we are back, people. We are back. Um, don't worry. All will be explained in due course. First and foremost, I want to shout out Jojo. Hang tight, Joe. <laughs> Welcome back, young king. It's good to see you. Uh, it's been a minute. Minutes. I know you've... I, 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 after I'm, many meetings, we're here. Yeah, Sorry. after... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. After many meet. <laughs> <laughs> after many... Uh, <laughs> Pre link ups, we worked it all out still. So I want to say, um, Joe is uh, a big, big, big influence onto this podcast. And um, without him, we wouldn't even be what we are. I'm going to give him more accolades during the podcast. Nice. But um, first and foremost, I want to say welcome back, sir. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new co host. The female voice you'll hear throughout the show is the lovely Keisha. Everyone give her a round of applause, people. <laughs> Welcome, Keish. Thank you, thank you. She's, uh, she's new to the pod, but she's not actually new to the establishment. No. No. Uh, for over a year now, um, Keisha has been the woman behind our live podcast events. Mm -hmm. She keeps us in check. Yep. Um, which we need <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's safe to say that um, uh, I she didn't she wasn't quite interested at first when I asked her she was apprehensive yeah we had to yeah yeah we had to get the lawyers involved in that you know? <laughs> yeah. we, we got there in the end you know what I mean? <laughs> we, had, we had to work oh. the charm yeah. but we are happy to have you here Keish we're here now we're here now it's nice to have a female influence on the proceedings today um just don't get overly gassed. There's still the man in here. Don't, <laughs> you, know, you should just relax. Obviously. <laughs> you know, like that, you know? Uh, as I said, that's the disclaimer. But no, love. 
Love Keish, good to have you here. Um, good to be here. Yes, Drizzy, man, I missed you, man. I missed you. I know, I, 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 uh, I missed this. I'm, I'm not even going to add the, uh, the five letter word to, it, but a word to it. So, but I've missed, I've missed you as well. Bro. Yeah, man, I missed this whole. Yeah, us, a lot of things have happened. Yeah, and I just feel like there's a certain voice or voices missing uh-huh. Uh-huh. to provide commentary context to I like that. Uh, what was going on that day, and a lot has been going on. Yeah, yeah, and it all will be explained in due course. <laughs> Um, I want to say big shout out to Chucky uh, who landed Congrats. a spot on BBC One Extra a round of Yay. applause. That's a very established spot from uh, Ace. Hundred percent. I mean, Ace has been holding that down for, for a minute. A minute. In my opinion, it's been way overdue. I've I've uh, I've watched Chucky's trajectory from from early doors. Mm-hmm. Me, me and him have uh, come up from the ends together, and um, I just I'm just super proud of him. So you can catch his yeah. show. Uh, late Saturday night, early Sunday morning for the best in R and B. Has he started now? Yeah, he started. He had a little like last. He started on the twenty third, I believe. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All right, so, shout so shout yeah, if you wanna, if you've missed the show, uh, you can catch it. Just uh, go on the One Extra website and you can check it out. Is there any uh, people you want to shout out before we commence? You know what it probably is, but we'll probably do that throughout the season. But I just want to shout to my cuz. The young lion, the swagger don himself, uh, man like Khalil. And shout out to my cousin Khalil, who did a quick 48 hours in London mm-hmm. before going to Dubai. And let's just say, I made sure that the plane he caught to go to Dubai, <laughs> he was definitely going to sleep for the majority of that okay. flight. Okay. Because I had Doddy running around London yeah, right. trying to get all the pictures. You know, it's like when yeah. you're on a stunt, I was on in London. Yeah, I did a little mini blog for him. I'm out here, my like, man, cameraman and tourist. We did it up. We did it up big. So I'm shout out to Khalil. It's good to see you, cuz. Uh, coming all the way from Toronto, obviously, shout out to my sis, Sashel. Shout out to Addy and all the babies out there. Come on. Um, yeah, man, there's more people to big up. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Hey, big up Black uh, Black Edition clothing each and big every time. Up. Yep, because I'm, yeah. I'm wearing a cap. <clears throat> Sponsor, um, but yeah, shout to them. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, anyone else we think of, we'll shout them out. Yeah, sure. 100%. These two Donnies are bonkers. 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 I think we just need to address the elephant in the room because... I'm still black. For, for, for our audience watching, there they might be a slight confusion. Um, What's the what, sorry? Where we are. Uh, oh, where are we? <laughs> we're in the crib this is true we're in the crib um as you can see we're in a new location uh which happens to be in my summer house at the back of my crib um this is my home from home and it's now yours too so welcome people thank welcome. you thank you uh the question is why did we rebrand the podcast why should you rebrand yours and when should you do it I think it's time for me to explain and tell a story. In 2017, with a good friend of mine, Wesley, who used to manage my music career, and we embarked on starting our own podcast. We were massive fans of the concept. Mm -hmm. And at the time, Brilliant Idiots, Tack Stone, those individuals were, yeah, Combat Jack were like the go-to pods. Was Joe out then? Joe was not quite. Okay, all right. Uh, If he was, he wasn't bubbling. And it was, I'll name this podcast later. Yeah, later maybe days, then. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, which uh, like was out on digital platforms. Mm. And we I enjoyed it just as audio podcasting. And I just thought it would be something good to do. Uh, we reached out to a digital radio station called Radar Radio. I don't know if you remember that. No. Uh, we did a pilot there. We had no fucking clue how to present a podcast. Right. But... We just, it was a vision that we had and we set up on that journey. Uh, we failed to get a slot on the station and so we decided to find a podcast studio to record our own shows. Mm-hmm. We came up with the name Fast Food Podcast as food is a metaphor for information. Mm-hmm. And we thought that was fly. Yeah. So we ended up in a studio in Labrick Grove, added trim and maintain to the roster and kept it moving. Big shout out to Savage Dan who gave us the space to work from, and we basically self-taught ourselves on the concept itself. Now, here's where Drizzy comes in. Uh, do you remember the episode you actually uh, graced us with your presence? Um, 
No, nah, I do remember there was a shift in the uh, there was a shift in the universe when I came on the pod for sure. <laughs> See, it was, um, <laughs> you know, so <laughs> modest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, sorry. Just a quick sidebar. Someone said to me the other day, yeah. like, you're too calm and humble. I was yeah. like, what do you mean? You're too calm and humble. Like, you've That's done nice. things, yeah. but you don't ever highlight them. Or I know I'm the worst at taking compliments, but you don't you don't highlight things you've done right. previously. And I'm like, well, if you, if you ask me, I'll tell you. If you don't ask me, I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. Sorry. I was I, trying to get in that groove, but yeah, no, nah, I'm going to go back to how I was. Thank I think, you. I think it's good for you to be humble. And I think that we'll... We'll definitely address certain things that yeah. you've been through. And so let me let me so ask me the question again, please. When did you join the Fast Food Podcast? I don't remember, but I was humbly and gratefully appreciative of being invited yeah. to, uh, you know, to the establishment. Yes, it was uh, season two, episode Ooh. one, and the episode was called "Serial Cry Wolfer." Oh, so you was pretty much there from the beginning when you check it. Like, but who was the reason for that title in the pod? Though? The serial cry wolf. I, I feel like it was something to do with Eminem, where someone was just beefing him and they was just trying to like poke the bear for right. him to do something. I feel something along the lines, but carry on, sir. You're which telling is, a which great is quite, story. which is quite fitting. Yeah. Anyway, uh, slowly but surely, you made your mark on the pod and you became a permanent host. So we started as an old, old a audio only platform and quickly moved to visuals on YouTube and recorded six seasons under that name. Joe, our cameraman, joined us in season four and we just we just elevated to another level at that point in time. Um, shout out to Trebler. And who else was the young gentleman that used Yo, to do our camera let's work? not, respectfully, let's not forget, man, like the one who started the whole Talking. camera Shout to the camera work. So shout to man like Show Show. Talk to him. Yeah, shout to King Show Show. My doggy. Uh, big up yourself. But yeah, he initially, I believe he's the first one to actually get uh, us on camera. Right. In the in the studio filming. And then we... That's right. You know, he had other arrangements, which meant he couldn't roll. Mm -hmm. But he's still an avid fan of the pod. Oh, we, we love him, man. We love him. You know I mean? Shout to, just love, shout to um, yeah. Show Show. Shout to Show. And... Um, yeah, and then we moved on to... Trebs. Trebs. Shout out to Trebs. Shout out to Trebs. And uh, yeah, COVID hit. COVID hit. We needed a cameraman. Uh-huh. Because we wanted, we had a bigger vision for ourselves than what we was doing. Definitely. And then uh, the universe, now I'm going to flex that before, the universe, there was a shift in the universe. See it there. And then we got blessed with the services of man like King Jojo. King Jo, who just, who, who pretty much came through, recorded one episode and was like, bro, like, yo, brother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yo, could, are you, is your services? Yeah. <laughs> and he's been with us ever since. Yeah. Um, we recorded 18 episodes last season and ha interviewed an array of special guests. And we had last season the most successful season we've ever had with the podcast. Mm -hmm. um, so why did we rebrand the podcast? During the break from our final episode in 2023 we did a wrap up show mm -hmm. and Keisha while having helping us plan the new season she hit me with an uncomfortable conversation and basically told me I needed to rebrand the show uh, a new name which would represent the brand mm -hmm. Drizzy you also mentioned to it to me a while back before that as well and my wife she was quick to remind me that she was on the rebranding from time. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what it was. I don't know maybe if it was like the unknown fast food podcast was my baby. It was that. Yeah. yeah. That. And it was just too attached to it. I the was name. too attached to it. But the name didn't, the name doesn't. We'll, yeah. uh, we'll talk. Know. Okay. All right. Um, anyway, I had to think about it for a minute. And, and my initial thought was, um, as we said, the unknown. And it just made sense when, when I came around to the idea, it made sense. And um, Trizia and I coped really well last season. Yeah. yeah, We did really well with the episodes and putting everything out. And I think um, I'm going through my own personal rebranding at this moment in time, which I will elaborate in later episodes. Mm -hmm. um, so when you hear, as you said, the word fast food, unless you are a day one supporter, it's easy just to think, that the content is about fast food yeah. or possibly it's a cooking podcast. 
yada, yada, which it is not. Mm. So now we are intentionally looking to build our business and build a wider audience. Uh, I think we needed to identify an identity that reflects. Yeah, uh, plus we got tired of having to explain to people. Yeah. What does the title mean? 100%. <laughs> You cook. Uh, yeah. I can survive, but I'm not really a, a chef, a chef like that. Yeah, but it just got tiring. I just have to explain. Yeah, so it's uh, the title is. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was studying um, the whole laws of brands and naming things, and I feel like if your your name needs your name, the name of your content needs to tell a story, mm-hmm. or it needs it to shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. You yeah. shouldn't have to explain. Your brand and everything should just be self-explanatory. So, yeah, 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 that's right. You shouldn't yeah. have to even go into like the story and 100%. the history. Right, unless someone goes, so how did you guys get to where you, yeah. then you explain. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And it can evoke I mean? an emotion. Yeah. It, um, and it's a name that represents who you are. Yeah. And I think that was fitting to call the show Drizzy and Morgan. It's a bit on the nose then, isn't it? Yeah. It's get a name that's fitting for the show. <laughs> yeah. Well, just use our name. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just makes sense. You know I mean? It makes perfect just sense. Makes and we sense. we went around the houses for a hot. Oh minute. yeah, we was we was yeah yeah. I think that's why we've t- t- taken so long to come back to the hit. To come back here. Well, <laughs> am I, I gas? Am I gas? It's just that. Wow. <laughs> I tend to disagree. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we 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 wanted to, uh, the show to represent our business and um to prov- and also illustrate a sh- uh, a service that we offer. Um, we are still the same Donnies catching the same banter. Um, that's not going to change. No. But um, we know that we want to be of service to our audience and give our real experiences of who we are as men in our 40s um, to help and assist. Um, and we also, you know, we're our own individuals. We're on our own journey. And I feel like we need to reflect that. Um, yeah. And we need to, you know, let our audience know yeah. We are so human. I'm not, I'm not, so I know you're thinking, why are you I know grinning why. teeth? But no, it's not because it's just yeah. something's happened. Yeah. And I look straight to Joe. <laughs> and Joe's trying his hardest to show the emotions. <laughs> it's still, it's it's still, still <laughs> seeping out. <laughs> but he's, he's trying to keep his best poker face. But like his mannerisms, <laughs> like he wants to just get up and shout. But yeah. cool. Sorry, carry on. Because you know what it is, yeah, Drizzy? You alluded to it earlier. It's like when you said you're. So who said that you're very humble? I, I don't want to name them for him in the worst. But, but, yeah. you, but, it, but it's a good trait to have. But at the same time, I feel like now you can give your, you can let people know what you've been through, what your experiences is, because it will also let indicate that you've been on a journey and people that have, uh, can, can reflect and, and relate mm-hmm. to, to those journeys. Do you yeah. see what I'm saying? So I'll, like, don't be afraid to, you know, to express yourself in that way. I'm here, 100%. Yeah. I've known you for a very long time and I respect yeah. who you are as an individual. So, you know, that, that. that's the most important thing. The question is, why should you rebrand your content? I mean, when you think of the word rebranding, initially what comes to mind is logos, a change in setting, which is... To a certain uh, extent. To a certain extent, yeah. but there's much more to it. I mean, if you're an artist or a content creator, you always want to build a stronger brand. You always want to build a stronger relationship with your audience and, and the consumer. It could be uh, a restructure in your content, implementing new elements to your service. Um, there's a rep- it, doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean, it doesn't necessarily have to relate to your brand. Not necessarily. As in like a product you have out there because your brand, first and foremost, is you. Is you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Facts. So you can rebrand you as many times as you want. Yep. Um, but don't just think that rebranding just, uh, you know, relates thing. to a product or yep. you having to be creating something. It could just be yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that's, uh, sometimes that gets lost in the source. Oh, absolutely. What, what it is, you yeah, know? Yeah. Um, so yeah. I mean, what comes to mind here yeah, is remember the whole uh, Bud Light situation where they had to actually moonwalk when they did that campaign that yeah. that flopped. Where they were trying to do too cater much. to everyone, yeah. like, but specifically a certain group of people. And yeah. they realize those aren't the people that put in money in your pockets. And then they realize we got to double back because, oh yeah, I remember what you said earlier about not mentioning that uh, sequence of letters. So yeah, cool. Let's let's, let's skate past that. <laughs> when should you rebrand? I mean, 
uh, don't do it solely based on the fact that you feel like your content is not good enough. It's, it's, especially if you're just starting out, you need to figure it out naturally. I mean, if you think about where we came from, where we started with the R-Pod, it was a natural transit, uh, transition because we were just winging it for the best, for the best part of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't feel like it was super intentional. We enjoyed podcasting. We enjoyed um, the camaraderie, the conversations that we had. And I felt like that was more important. So when I, when we're talking to our audience now, I feel like you lot should just embrace what you're trying to do. Start Start it. Whatever content creation you're trying to make, just do it and you will figure it out along the way. Mm -hmm. Consistency is important. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is a big part of our journey. Um, and you know what? You've got to give people time to realise what your brand is, mm -hmm. who you are, what the messages you're delivering to, uh, you're delivering. Um, it could take years. And as, yeah, a, as you said, we started in 2017. Yeah. You know? And you just... It's just something that you should always put your mind to and see where it takes you. And I feel like um, you should just turn on your iPhone. If you're interested and you've got interest, sorry, if you've got interests and yeah. you feel like you want to present them mm -hmm. to an audience, just turn on your iPhone. There's, there's things you can buy. You can buy like little lights. A little, little uh, tripod. Yeah. Don't forget to film yourself in landscape, people. Otherwise, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, like that. Little, I'm just giving you a little uh, tidbit there. Do it in landscape mode, yeah? <laughs> yeah. So that way you can yeah. go on any kind of platforms. You know Facts. what I mean? You don't have to scale it, rescale it and all that. Yeah. Part. And also your target could change. Your target audience can change. It's mm. something that you need to do is analyze as well. Um, check 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 your analytics. Yeah. Uh, if, you're, if you've got a, a YouTube channel, look at your YouTube channel, see what's working, what's not working and understand what your, uh, who your demographic is, you know, um, check the data. Having Keisha also was a great, great, great situation to have, to have a female voice on a show as well. Um, we, we had few female guests in and out in previous podcast shows, um, or episodes, but you know, Having someone permanently here definitely is going to bring yeah, some, a different some of them, element. Some of them will, some of them will be back. Yeah. yeah, some of them will definitely be. Uh, shout to shout to Queen Reams. She'll shout to Queen uh, Reams. You know, another uh, you know, uh, um, um, an unofficial member of the of the team. Yeah, you know, done lives with other stuff like that. So shout to Reams. So yeah, Reams would definitely pass through at some point in the season. And I but hope, yeah. and I hope this uh, helps you guys understand why we moved in this direction um, and just continue to pass through, show support, show love. We're going to be here in this summer house chilling on a fortnightly chill, basis. Chill. We've got a lot of plans ahead and yeah, man, um, just, in, just enjoy, enjoy. It's the Drizzy and Morgan show. Show, 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 show. Drizzy. Yes, that's me. If you could only have one thing in a woman, would it be size? <laughs> Myself. Or oh, would it be shape? <laughs> Uh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> <There we go>. <laughs> <laughs> you guessed this. That's what he said. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, what do you say? Shape or what? Shape or size in a woman. What do you prefer? If you had to have either one of them. Are they mutually exclusive though? They Don't are, they but, hand you hand only hand. Can, but you can only have one. Some women shape are... Or some size. women... Some when women, you're saying shape though, are you talking about... Like, 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 who have body on them so why did you create this dumb question but I prefer what if you only could have one what if you could only have one there's only one shape or size shape or size I'm gonna go with she, I'm gonna go. Hey, I'm gonna go with. Shape. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with shape because I think you can. Yes. Go up or down in regards yeah. to like <laughs> your, your size. So I'm gonna go with shape. Where size you might. Yeah, I'm gonna go with shape. Same. Same. I'm not gonna dig a hole. I'm gonna go with shape. Uh, same. Do yeah. uh, do you, do you remember any of your middle school or high school crushes? Go. Talk to me. Um, <laughs> that smile tells it all. Uh, 
<laughs> when you always were younger, when you right. were um, younger. Yeah. How can I phrase this? Shelly on. This, this might... Shelly on. You know what? We're putting right? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> the next... Let me just say M. Lady M, yeah? Yeah. Lady M. I remember in school... I'm getting comfortable. I'm getting comfortable. I like this. I like this. Goodness I like this gracious. Yeah. Yeah. I remember in school, yeah, yeah, there was this lady called M. Yeah. And she used to let me go. She used to let me go underneath the table. What? And <laughs> Can I just ask a question? What, you was a bow cat in middle school? <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't, I know there's certain, clo- there's certain, there's certain things you got in your closet. Yeah, this is why you. Don't no, no, it, no, I didn't go that far. <laughs> yeah, okay. I cool. didn't know what that was. You yeah, and obviously growing up in the Caribbean, you that went was halfway under. We, the they table. used to make you think like that was the most. Yo, that was the closest thing to getting VIP access to hell. Was doing that yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, Especially growing up. Yeah, it's, it's a one. Bad man, I do that thing there. Oh, sorry. That, the, the sequence to let me <laughs> yeah, let me skip. No, but she used to let me go underneath the table. Yeah, finish the sentence. And then I was going to, but then you just forgot. <laughs> yeah. like, she used to let me go underneath the table. Yeah. And then, um, do you know what Moses did in he the biblical the Red times? Sea? Yeah. And she used to let me just like just a little quick little. <laughs> You are nasty. You are absolutely, you are absolute scumbag. With my hand. With your, you've got waxing off and waxing on. Yeah. Damn like man. Ninja yeah. Tell. Shout out to Michelangelo. <laughs> was this a regular occurrence or was this just the one yeah, time? It was, it, what was it? It was a regular occurrence. Look at his face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, back to you, man. Let's just go ahead. <laughs> Lady M, if you're out there. Lady M, if you're Madness. out there. Oh, what is yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we now far back in the, the archive files. Yeah, I had to. Yeah, yeah, no. But we're, we're podding. So, yeah, we're you know, podding. So, you, so, you can't uh, see it without green and bare teeth. Yeah, bro. Yeah, because I can think of it. Did she enjoy it, did though, at least? Bro, it didn't happen just once, so clearly. <laughs> was it a regular occurrence? When you like a restaurant, you keep going back, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah. You are know, silly. Yo. Lady M, Yo. Uh, you had an impact on <laughs> Yo, I, My journey started early. Yeah, I had a few crashes. Yeah. Susan Ingram. You know Susan? Why are you, you mentioning names, saying bro? the yeah, whole Susan. name? Yeah, Susan Ingram. She, Susan's. Why are Susan so... Like, when you say the name Susan, you think... Mm. I can't nah. relate. No? Let me guess she was Caucasian. Susan makes me think She of... was Caucasian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Her name like Susan. She had lovely legs. Was it with a Z or an S? S. Okay. She's, She's nice she, legs, yeah? She's beautiful legs. What was her name? Susan. Susan what? Ingram. Oh, S-I. I thought it's something I caught. Uh, um, Sarah Farmer. Another, yeah. Hold on, are we same? Re- Rebecca Street. Wait, 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 wait. Why did these all sound like porn star dudes? <laughs> Joe, I was just gonna get to that. That's where the problem started. Uh, Ashley the and name. Claire, they were twins. I knew were hot at the time. They were like, the they were about a year older than me in middle school. So maybe yeah, all maybe Caucasian. All Caucasian. Um, mm. And then uh, Kelly. Five, six, shout out to Kelly Halu. Six. Another one. <laughs> Shout, wait, shout. We say secondary school instead of middle school. Yeah, same thing, yeah. man. I'm not. old. I'm old. We had middle school in my year, in my day. Oh. Was but in your day. In my day. Okay. Next one. Makeda. Now. She wasn't Caucasian. Makeda was black, right? Oh, it's a duh. But Makeda <laughs> kicked me in the nuts one time because I <laughs> during an English lesson. And mm. yeah, we don't I, condone that. I, deserve, I, des- I deserved it. I deserved it. <laughs> Juicy time stamped that piece. Yeah. We can't take that out. <laughs> Next two, please. Yeah. Come out to the door. Yeah. Oh boy. Some 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 man were some man were practicing yeah. for the freak off from young oh, boy. Mate, I was doing too much. I was doing too much. You but, think? Yeah, yeah, but I never went under the table though. Your thing is yeah, mad. Yeah, mad. Hold on. Mad. First of all, I had consent. You're a groper, bro. Don't don't put the two together. You just get out of here. 
Don't put the two together. <laughs> See how you try to take a man down with you as well? Yeah. Pause. Nah, bro. Do your time by yourself, G. Yeah, okay. Unbelievable. All right, all right. Calm, 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 calm. Johnny Grove time, over there. Yeah, we got the timestamp on lock. Don't worry, man. Yeah, yeah. These two Donnies are bonkers. bonkers. I want to have this conversation, Drizzy. It's a conversation I've been wanting to tackle for a minute, but now we have a new format. Um... I think this is uh, something that I'm gonna we're gonna dive into, and today I want to tackle the topic of why Eminem, aka Slim Shady, aka Marshall Mathers, is discredited in hip hop. Uh, is he talented? Uh, is he a talent in MC? Is he yes. overrated? Or and also the question is, does hip hop culture need black gatekeepers? Which one do you want to answer first? Um, because I've heard right. Okay, that's okay. I've heard in in the spaces that Eminem's not part of the culture. He's not relatable because mm-hmm. he's white, and okay. his mom rapped when he raps. He's not top five, top ten artists of all time, which is obviously a subjective thing, right? Yeah, as music is. Um, and I've heard because he's white, a lot of people think he shouldn't be respected. Right, I've even heard some people say they don't even we don't hear Eminem in clubs, and he's a guest. I mean that's fair. I I think that's I think that's a fair point to make. I think that has holds a lot of credence to it. You don't hear Eminem in the club unless it's like someone plays a remix on next episode. Yeah. Um, on his, like from his album, but you don't really hear like what Eminem record would you hear? Maybe a. Uh, the real Slim Shady can the mm. real Slim Shady please stand up but even yeah. that's kind of forcing the box but then but like obviously hip, there is a lot of music in there's a lot of hip, club culture music in hip hop right mm. but there's also radio there's also yeah, no, 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 but, stadium right, there's but also I feel like arenas some of our best best to offer if we was having genre versus genre versus genre versus genre yeah. you support at starting 5 or starting 11 yeah You'd want artists who tick all the boxes. Yeah, he did, now, well, not... in, he did well in his time, like when he yeah. first blew. But I feel like it's not something people go back to want to listen to nowadays. I don't think. Yeah, Unless I he was think a proper aged, dedicated. I don't think his music has aged well. Yeah. You know, maybe Stan. You could play Stan if you you you're used to a Bunny. I boiler. hear Stan. In clubs yeah, sometimes. You know what I'm saying, but that's a uh, one of arguably the best songs ever made. So you can go back to it whenever. I I I, I believe that this part of com- this part of the conversation, you and Keisha are talking for yourselves. Mm. When's I, the last time you listened to Eminem album? Four months ago, five months ago. What one was it? It's first and the second album. Yeah, it's proving the point. It's then. my favorite, but then but, but then you're proving Big, the point. Biggie's got two albums that you can but only he, right. Wait, can wait, only wait, have wait. two you albums. Can't, no, you can't use that in the argument. Why? Because Biggie, unfortunately, God bless the dead, wasn't around to continue his legacy Legacy. and his work. Facts. M, I think one of the problems people have with M, but they they, they dust it up as a colour thing. I don't think it's a colour thing. I think Eminem never really adapted to the times. Mm. So he's always wrapped like it's still 1999, 98, 97, 96. Uh, no, when he come out like 2000, 2001, he still raps like that. He never really changed. And I think the sound kind of walked past him. He didn't run past him because he's he's a lyrical G, but he walked past him and he didn't pay attention to it. Jay-Z has adapted to the times. Yeah. Nas has adapted to the times. Snoop is Snoop. You don't have to worry about Snoop. Yeah. Snoop's a comedian. Yeah. But I just feel like Eminem never, and when he realized, oh man, I'm sounding like I'm sounding like... I'm on the Slim Shady LP or the Marshall Mathers LP. It was too late. Now I feel like he's playing catch up, but it sounds like he's forcing it. Right. Because we know he's a lyrical Gongargan. We know that. Yeah. It doesn't matter what color he is. But he does have a, I don't know if it's a stubbornness where he's like, well, this is what made me and got me to where I need to, where I am. Yeah. I'm just going to keep doing that. And you can't, you have to adapt in, because hip hop is a young man's game. If you're sounding like the hip, the hop, the hippie, the hippie to the hip, hip hop. We respect that song and we like it in certain confinements and yeah. areas and <clears throat> uh, environments. But you're not on a on an afternoon when you get home from work before you giggle yourself into bed, <laughs> going to listen to a hip, 
a hop, a hippie, a hippie to the hip, hip. But it don't work like that. If you're at a barbecue and it comes on, you start reciting the lyrics. Yeah. And M, who's got access to one of the, arguably one of the greatest producers in music of all time, I just felt like he should have always been a bit more, better equipped. This guy's got game coming in the studio. Kendrick Lamar, like Dr. Dre's working with all these dons and you're still giving us the same... And the, the the flow and the, the bars where it's like the shock horror, the shock bars, I think we're past that now. It's it, it, it's weird. It's weird because the way you're explaining it, it, it almost sounds like you're saying Eminem's niche. No, when, I'm saying Eminem, in my humble opinion, I feel like musically Eminem is stubborn. He's good at something and I think he could adapt to the times. Yeah. I think he's refused to do mm. so just because in his eyes... I have to be a lyrical miracle all the time, which you can be, but you could be lyrical and still give us a, a what's a lyrical song that like pops off in the club? Like there's songs, I'm trying to think of a song right now. You don't have to dumb down just to, we're going to make it. It's not a club song. Oh, the, sorry, what was that? <laughs> what did I carry obsessed. I hit oh yeah, yeah. That was a tune, you know, I the Gucci, but, but we're gonna make it. It's right. not a club song, okay? But it slaps in the club. All right, let's deep dive. Let's deep dive because I've got some. I've got things to say, and I like this conversation. Um, we know hip hop. We know hip hop originated from us, right? Cool her, yeah. Jamaican culture, yeah. black culture, um, and but there's always been a participants of cultures from outside of the black culture. Of course, breaking. Um, uh, graffiti. Yeah, the, the, um, the, the elements that make up hip hip hop, the culture. Yeah, his rap is the music of. So it started hip-hop. out in the Bronx, and there was yeah. a big Hispanic, Latino, right, Asian. Shout out to them. Yeah, um, uh, influence. Yeah, right. <clears throat> and so you've had Beastie Boys, you've had Cypress Hill. Shout out mm-hmm. to Be Real. You've had House of Pain, Vanilla yep. Ice at the yep. time. Um, and fast forward, you got Informer. Eminem. Yeah, who no. had Infinite album first, yeah. but no one really heard it. It was very quite, it was quite underground. And then he, um, he built a buzz up, a really good buzz. So much so that, because obviously, as you know, when we were consuming hip hop at that time, it's the, it's the 90s, yeah. late 90s, 2000s. It was Tim Westwood yeah. who was our source mm-hmm. for hip hop music. And when I heard Eminem's record, I just don't give a F. Yeah. I actually thought it was black. Yeah, because, yeah. When I used to, because I remember actually traveling on the train, had my earphones in, yeah. playing, because this is this is TDK days, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm you listening to recorded the- Recorded it. Yeah, recorded yeah. this uh, Tim's yeah. show, listen back to it on, the, on my commute. And I'm listening to this song and I'm thinking, raw, this guy's cold. Like, who is this guy? Lyrically sick. Just stood out. Cadence stood out. Stood out. Rhyme pattern stood out, um, and his flow was amazing. But then, obviously, found out it was white. Mm-hmm. Signed to Dr. Dre, um, and that that Slim Shady album, the Slim Shady album, the LP. Mm-hmm. I remember a friend of mine shout out to Gifty. I was living in Wembley at the time and she messaged me. She rang me first. She rang me, then she messaged me, says, I'm coming to your yard. I say, cool. Because remember back in the day when we was young, bro, it was like, you, the link up was just random. You had nothing else to do just to link, right? Anyway, Gifties called me, messaged me, come to my yard, brought me back to her house and said, you need to listen to this album. Oh, that's a bit backwards. She yeah. came to your yard just to get you. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah, Why yeah. Why did she just tell you to come to hers? No, because that was, she, she liked that, she liked that commute still. Because I used to live in Wembley and she lived like just down the road. Okay, so she liked, she, she would, she, bro, no, you can't lock my it. door, bro. Do I have to explain it, bro? But no, anyway. I, no, I'm not, I don't uh, need you to say <laughs> why she locked like, your door. That doesn't make it's sense. It's just that like, no. we're at point B. She w- and instead of her telling you at point A to come to point B, she needs point B to go to point A just to go back to point don't, B. Didn't man. you have friends that used to link you on their bikes, but then you'd they'd come to your house to go back to theirs? It's just, it's just normal shit that man used to do back in the day. You know what I mean? Okay, let's like, not digress. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, she... Uh, she came to the crib, brought me back to hers, played that Slim, that Slim Shady LP. And I was like, mate, you know, but by the way, there's a lot of women. There's a few women that's actually introduced me to hip hop acts in my past. Like 
two women I come to my mind. I'm not going to out them, but gift these one. And it's like, it's, that's quite interesting. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so we, as you said, we can't talk album sales with, with Eminem. We're not going to do that. No, I didn't mention that. But we're I'm not going to do the album sales the conversation. No. All right. I see what you're saying. Right. I don't have a problem with Eminem. Yeah. I just think that, I think, I'm only talking from what I see online. I think people think like he's came, he's taken what he needed out of hip hop. Got ridiculous, like he's easily one of the biggest selling artists of any genre of all time. I think maybe people just want to see either, not be super accessible, but maybe put back in something. Like, I don't know. Like, what has Eminem put back into bar 50 cent? But then 50 was already buzzing. So it's kind of like he just gave him a bigger platform. But like, mm. what has he put back cent, into the scene? 50 puts him up on a higher, as a, he, he puts him so up he on should, a higher. Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he, he should, because, you know what I'm him. saying? He bit, M, M had like a big influence on the underground as well. He like, he did the battle rap thing and was heavy in that for a long yeah. time. And but, then he did a lot of underground the, what music. What is the root of this problem? Because we have like a Jack Hollow who I I I I mess with Jack Hollow. I like Jack Hollow, but he doesn't get the flack Eminem gets. That's it. But I feel like maybe it's because Jack is a little bit more of a chameleon in regards to like he'll do this, then he'll do he'll flip Fergie's glamorous into first class, <laughs> then he'll do this, he'll do that, boom, 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 boom. I think it's an adaptability thing with Eminem. I'll tell you what it is. Go ahead. The Benzino situation. Nah. Nah. That's just one person. The culture has a pro. We're not. Let me not say the whole culture, but parts of the culture have this long-standing issue with Eminem. And yeah. I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe it's because they feel like he hasn't put back into what he's taking out. So he's gone to the well. He's drank water. Drank water. Garden his garden. Wet his plants in the house. Filled up his shower. Filled up his bar. Yeah. He hasn't put something back in. It's not a case of he can't rap. That no one. No, that's not. A, that's not a question. He, if he can rap. But I just feel like there's something like he hasn't either put back into the scene or he hasn't adapted to the time or he just feels like M just secludes himself in a little shed, just raps, riggy rap, 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 over beats, puts stuff out, then goes, hides away. Like I could be, I could be wrong, but let me give me my explanation why I've mentioned Benzino because back in that, was, I think it was like 2022 when they had the beef. The reason why that beef started was because Benzino was running the source yeah. and back in the day, back in the day. And, and, uh, he got, he gave the Eminem show four out of five mics okay. and Eminem was upset about that and dissed him. Right. So straight away, right. That's some idiot thing. And then they back and forth, went back and forth for a minute with, they had numerous yeah, 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 songs yeah. on each other yeah. for a hot minute. And then uh, Benzino won, but they, he had Buster Rhymes, 50 cent, all these, Proof, D12, yeah. all of them shooting at Benzino. Yeah, yeah, because that's the squad. So you squad up. You know it's, what I mean? It's bullying, but all right, fair enough. And, <laughs> but then what happened was, do you remember that pe press conference with the media where Benzino outed Eminem for saying, calling black women bitches? And oh, he, he said it, And he said, and he used the N-word yeah. in I, that. I, I, maybe, maybe that's the world where people was like, fuck this guy. But well, that's what I'm Excuse trying to... But this is what I'm saying. That, like, there's... Definitely something where there's a shift yeah. and there's, this is why I'm asking the question about Eminem. He's clearly talented. He's clearly, it has influenced a lot of culture, but also he's offended yeah. the culture too. Yeah. And he had to backtrack. I remember he had to back, he come out with a statement and said, look, he was upset at the time. He was dating someone black. He was dating a black girl and he was frustrated with the Brother, situation. as a Caucasian man, it's a privilege for you to have a sister give you some play. You know? So the fact that, and I get it because they are golden, but whatever happened, you're no longer with her. And you, your mind, your mind tells you, you know what I should do? Just make a rap <laughs> and just diss them all <laughs> based off my one experience. <laughs> you know how dumb that sounds? Do you, do you, do you, I wouldn't even, I'm not even, put, whoever told him, that's a good, that's a good rebuttal to what happened. They're stupid. Fire, fire your, 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 your PR team, bro. That's dumb. Black people, um, Eminem used the word, the N-word. Yeah. On songs. Yeah. At that particular time as well. Um, but do we think black, white people don't use the N-word? No, we we know they do. Yeah. In the comfort of their own home. In, yeah. In the All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, produ we produce music with that word in there that they love and they will recite bar what, for bar. What, what's the word? What? That word. Nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I think the statement, he had to come out with that statement. He, because no, he, he, no, he could have taken time. He could have took as much time as Meek Mill did to record <laughs> that diss record to flipping Drake. He could have took time and come out with a way better answer than that. And just said, hey, you know what? <sighs> I messed up. Yeah. I should have never done that. Yeah. I can't take it back. And I'm going to do, I've tried everything I, think I can to. He, I think he, that's what he did. Dude. Yeah, but he, you said, he said, oh, I was, I was upset because, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. Shaniqua didn't give the white boy <laughs> him some. She <laughs> didn't put the chocolate in my m M&M, So I was just like, nah, bro. It's just so what? When you, you don't know, get your way, that's what you do? Do you know the crazy revelation out of that whole press conference is that People were saying, rare, Eminem was really that wasn't that great lyrically, and he's improved in the last 10 years, because up to that point, that was that was 10 years before. Um, but then okay, cool. Let's fast forward quickly to Benzino being on Drink Champs and getting super drunk. And ended up really saying that he doesn't have any beef with Eminem at all, really. It was just a conflict, it was just a, a battle that they had. Yeah. Things got deep as they do in battle rap, or per things got personal. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe, right, that he does belong in a culture. Mm-hmm. I, I guess I look at, at when I, my relationship with Eminem as an artist is different to most, like as his music, to his music. Okay, as music, sir. Is, is, is because I'm a rapper and I'm a lyricist, mm-hmm. that's why I connected with him the most. Right. Because you'll find when you have, cert, you have you've got certain types of hip hop um you have different types of hip hop fans. There's hip hop fans that like certain artists. There's hip hop that's like club music. There's the backpackers. There's the we can go. We can go. Keep going mm-hmm. down the yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the totem pole. But I like lyricists. I always, I always have. I always will. So why I put Eminem up there is because of that. Because I listen to him differently. Like it didn't. I I, I wouldn't say I related with him too tough. Mm-hmm. But when I heard these word, when I heard the wordplay, it was unbelievable how he used to put his words together. The way that he used to just put sentences, is the deep stuff that he used to say that you would go over your heads. And now, obviously, if you're just a casual listener, mm-hmm. that stuff is not even you don't give a shit about that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel like if you're like if you're like me, you would have had Eminem up there as one of the one of the greats. Dr. Umar don't feel like he is because he's white, but... Okay. It, it, now, I, this I, is a great segue. Yeah, talk to me. Because I feel like this Eminem thing ties into something that I've seen, uh, which has taken, picked up a lot of steam over the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, shout out to all my um, Jamaicans out there. Um, how can I put this? Where has this narrative come from where everyone's claiming Jamaica. Is it, what is that? Did you just saying that that's now? Do you remember when Africans thought they were Jamaicans? Well, they can get away with that. But there's a <laughs> there's a narrative that's going around now where and anyone... And now, think about it. Think yeah. about, but hold that thought. Oh, think yeah. about it. Africans wanted to be Jamaicans and now Jamaicans want to be Africans. <laughs> As the world turns. It's, it's crazy, isn't it? Do they? Yeah, like, like when I say when I say Jamaicans want to be Africans, I mean J- Jamaicans or Caribbean people now associate wait, wait, Africa of because of the music. Why are you? Why are you just stick stick in your Jamaican box? Don't expand it to. Oh, Caribbean. cool. I let you continue because I because I because I interrupted. You didn't do much. Yeah, go for it. The Caribbean just. Um, <laughs> Sorry. No, but there's there's a there's a there's a there's a rise uh, in. Um, All rise. Shout out to Blue Down oh, Tour, nice. you know. Um, shout out to um no, not shout out to what I'm saying. So there's a rise in uh I'll, I'll put you off with the African in, uh, and Jamaican, Jamaican African. Yeah, that's wild. That's yeah, a wild yeah, take. Yeah, yeah. There's a rise in like Caucasians bred in Jamaica. Oh, like, that's from, what you mean. Yeah, but yeah. they're saying like they're from they they they're part of the culture. Yard and Do you mean like, like what M the R? But I mean, first of all, <laughs> I was gonna mention the days. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, I mean, shout out to M. Dot R. Boy, there's another one as well. There's another one. Yeah, I've did it, bro. There is like a, a few. They're like a Harry or factory. They just bring out different types of sweets from the same place. But so my thing is, is like, when did Jamaica become yeah. the Nike Panda Dunks of the of the Caribbean, bro? It's like, cool. everyone's claiming it's it. It's cool to be Jamaican, bro. It's always been cool to be Jamaican. Yeah, but it's. Facts. There's there's there's, cool, there's warning to the, and then there's the breading. 
the bread in the dot in the sun. It's like you can't, brother. The, the bakery sales. Bro, your name can't be Greg's and telling me you're from yard. That don't work. All your life you've been eating yeah. beans on toast, which yeah. slaps by the way, yeah. and, and bangers and mash, yeah. and, and flipping pie and jelly eel and gravy and all that stuff, and liquor. And all of a sudden you want to be like switching up. Yo, me from yard, you know. The, the code switching, I don't, I don't respect. I just don't get it. I understand, right? Because we are, Jamaicans are very big on influence. Yeah, of course. That's but, never in doubt. But I feel like when people code switch too much, yeah. like, like code switching is when you go, like my, co- my, my idea of code switching is like when you're at work, you talk a little bit that's more that's formal. That's and, etiquette. Yeah. But that's still a code switch because I can't. Yeah, okay, I wouldn't yeah. say to my boss, "Yo, I'll well, go on my G." I mean, if he allowed you to, you probably. If he would, would yeah, but yeah. that I'd keep that. But that's it. part of you. Yeah, you've been in that environment. Of course, of course. Your family is of that ilk. But as, but that's your but, bloodline. Shout out to Roman Reigns is of Jamaican heritage. Yeah, yeah, of course. But then I might. So I might. But what I'm saying to you is. There's a certain, yeah, you're right. There's a certain etiquette that you have in different environments, yeah. but there's a, there's still a code that you use. Even in an interview, you wouldn't, there's still things that you wouldn't say or Absolutely. do. Absolutely. You know how to, you know, switch up your, 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 your vocabulary. Language. But I'm just thinking what the, the problem I have is with, if Bradley's grown up around us in the estates and that, yeah. and then Bradley starts <laughs> jumping on dance or rhythms, <laughs> <laughs> switch his name to Paul Smith and start spitting and then when someone approaches him that doesn't know him from Sh- the end Shonda, Paul, P- Shonda Bradley yeah do you know what I'm saying yeah yeah. and then he's yeah. like yeah what shit what shit like, who, who are you yeah um Stephen Banton yeah 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 that's crazy yeah Stephen Banton I'm, I'm from Yard where yeah, are you from yeah. Kingston yeah, yeah, oh yeah, surprise yeah. Yeah. these mofos <laughs> never choose anywhere else but Kingston like we don't know that's like saying you're from London but you Bruv, choose somewhere else. Like, yeah, I'm from Southampton. Right, let me ask you a question. Is, do you think those people are tapped? Brother, they, listen. Because, uh, because uh, like, all right, cool. Let's say I'm in an environment. I don't know. One day I get shipped out to Iceland and I'm living in Iceland now yeah. and I'm with Caucasian family and I live there. Yeah. Would you think, I, I'm not necessarily just going to start moving like them still. No, like, but there'll be things within their environment and their surroundings that, that you will you will pick up. Yes. It's, 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 a, it's the nature of, it's, it's the nature of habit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In your, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah Right. Yeah, yeah. But, I just don't understand where it's like, you could be a fan of, said place. Right. Jamaica. Right. But it's the, <sighs> Clark Kent Superman thing they're doing where it's like, when they're at home, they're Paul Smith. Mm-hmm. But when they're outside now, they're Shonda Paul. They're Shonda Paul. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too much. They're, they're, they're Bradley Banton. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, they're not you even see, calling themselves popcorn. They're calling interview? themselves like Coca Cola. What something. was that Donny's name? I don't know his name. Who? Um, M. Dot. I don't know. What was his name? Uh, producer Joe. Been... What's his name? What's his name? Which one? The guy oh, who's yeah. on like yeah. one extra and everything. Well, M. Dot R. Yeah, this him. M. Dot R. He was. He had an interview recently, and he explained the reason why he he's that he's that way. He said he's grown up with us. He's his family has been integrated in, but then he wasn't born in Jamaica and I could hear the breakup in his patois a lot of the time, um, which is why I asked, is uh, is there something disjointed? Is there, is he a... What do you think is delusional? Is he a two slices short of a loaf? Well, like mental health. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> And we, and we don't want to, you know what I mean? Mental health is serious, is a serious yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. But is it, is, it might be that. It's just because some, like, some people just embrace something so much that they think. They believe it. That's it. Like, yeah. they, they just believe that's what it is. You know what I mean? And you don't have to be jealous because you're Dominican and you don't get Dominican. Jealous of what? I don't know. I'm just asking. That, whoa, yeah, that's a straight. Yeah, just, I'm just what? asking. Like, no, please, no, please no. elaborate. No, 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 no. I don't know. Like, if, <laughs> no, 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 no. Would you bring it up? Would you would, bring? Would you bring up a conversation with with a white Donny that started doing uh, soca music and he's and then started going on podcast? No, but we have right. Okay. Do you look? Okay, here's the thing, bro. <laughs> All right. You could be around a certain culture and pick up certain things. Yeah. The cooking. Yeah. 
the way you make certain alcoholic beverages, Facts. the way you wear your clothes. Facts. Hip hop has influenced people who are not of our hue yeah. to move and act and speak a certain way. But I feel like you can talk how you talk as you are from where you've grown up, mm-hmm. as in your cult, your mm-hmm. surroundings, Facts. and be a fan of a culture that's over there. I agree. But don't bread it. Like you're trying to be like yeah. Superman and Clark Kent, where during the day you're super, you're Clark Kent, and then at night you're Superman. So you think he's going home and going, oh, what, mate? All right, Brother, all right, I think up. as soon as he walks through the door, <laughs> he puts his slippers on, ITV, yeah. Coronation Street, yeah. uh, 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 a cup of rosy. Takes down his braids. Right? Right? Yeah. Puts a robe on, uh-huh. cup, of, cup of rosy, and, and it's, it's, it's a pie and mash thing. Yeah. And I don't be very stereotypical there, and I fully hold my hands up to that. But I just don't understand how you talk like that because you grew up around like yeah. the man. Then would not, I would not be comfortable if you were around me. And you can't be like picking up. But that, that man, they can't be around us though. Yeah, facts. Can't them man can't be around us. And then them man are gonna profit off the, which is why we need gatekeepers. Right. Because so that's crazy. No, no because don't yeah. worry, I pay attention, bro. Because yeah. I know you asked me two questions and right. that's why I brought up the Jamaica thing to come back to here. Yeah. One love. You said that to, you said that to say to say this, right? right? But we do need gatekeepers because we're like, yo fam, you can love the culture. You could even be a reggae or dance or artist. Mm-hmm. But how about you do it in the way you talk on the rhythms that we produce? Yeah. Bring you to the table. Yeah. Don't bring us why you yeah. in your kind of mixed up? Would you think it? Do you think it sounds like he's mocking slightly, brother? Yeah. I feel like that is on some Ali G type. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, it's like that's a, what it reminds yeah, me of. Yes. I haven't seen a lot of clips, and I've I don't want to say he's disingenuous. He yeah. could be so gassed and infatuated yeah. with yeah. the culture, yeah. but bro, be you. Yeah. In the dance, don't yeah. come in the dance and try and be like your your beanie man inside. Yeah. You no, know, yeah, be you and bring what you bring to the table because you it, it comes across like it's a, a mockumentary, absolutely, like it's a parody. But do we feel like sometimes we open up the culture sometimes and then want to start measuring how much people use it, Sister Keisha? I, yeah, thank you for that. that I think alley-oop. it's difficult though. I think no, it's, it's very diff- it's a difficult thing to do though. Yeah. Isn't it? Keepers, how, yeah, how are you going to do the it? The culture has now become the barbecue of settings. Yeah, we need gatekeepers. You need to know the history of certain cultures, you need to know where it originated from, yeah. you need to know the certain power players, you need to show respect to the thing, and then you get after accepted. a trial period. We will decide and review your application whether you should come in the thing. Mm. But I I'll think, be, I'll go be go honest, on, I don't think having gatekeepers on black culture or Caribbean culture, West Indian culture, whatever you want to call it, is going to work because we're not even on the same page as a collective. So for us then to start Hamburger. putting a putting a measure on who can say and do what when we're not even collectively on the same page we ourselves. We haven't even got our own shit together. Yeah, sorry. And we've got... Yeah, but, but, okay. Okay. I, but I don't... I, I think that's enough. I think we should leave that for another okay, discussion. Because cool. yeah. I, I can go down the path of... I, not, Joe has mentioned it several times in podcasts. We're not a monolith, bro. Let's let's say that for another time. Okay, say nothing. Say nothing. It's the Drizzy and Morgan show. Show. Intermission show, period. Show, show, show. Uh, I love this record. I think it's dope. Um, it arrived on my doorstep via Instagram because I just saw the three Donnies standing there in a picture and I thought, Ooh. yo, these men are the elite that's, Donnies. That's going in my end of, that's already in my end of year playlist for the end of year. It's already in there. Yeah. So, um, but who's got the best verse? Also as well, um, we've got our own playlist, haven't we? That we're launching. Yes, we do. That's right. Yes. Oh, oh, Keish. oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, wait a minute. Keish. That's why you're, <laughs> oh, that's, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry Keish. Do I not get involved in sorry. these decisions with regard to the show? Well, I, I was going to announce <laughs> it. Sorry. Um, so basically, we're going to have a Spotify playlist yep. that we're going to add tunes to. And everyone who listens, you guys can listen to what we're listening to. Any music we add to the show. Yep. And then me and, we... Me and Keisha made that decision. Brother. We so will, Keisha, you know what? Finish what you're saying and then I, I got something We to will say then possibly add it to YouTube as well, just so that it can be a video thing as well. Um, but yeah, iTunes, Spotify and YouTube yep. playlist for the... Morgan show. You know what the funny thing is about that, yeah? Mm-hmm. It's a great idea. It is. However. Correct. 
Once upon a time in Bethlehem, I said to someone who's no longer with us, shout to Trim. Okay, thank God it's not about me. <laughs> and I said, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> You're not off the hook yet, though. Oh, shit. Oh. I said, oh, yo, yeah. remember when we was always trying to shove in music onto yeah. the show? Yeah. It was like the tail end and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, yo, why don't we just do a, 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 a playlist mm. of the songs so that way we could go, hey, if you like the sign of that, or yo, we've put up, we've updated. So My name look at me like a little boy. <laughs> That's it, no, dude. Did they little boy you? No, no, no. That's not. That's not. You probably look at the side eye. Uh, off the album on purpose with purpose. Uh, this is Get Mount Rushmore Jeez. featuring Kano and Wretch Thirty Two. You are now listening to the Drizzy and Morgan Show. Show. Welcome show, back, show. ladies and gentlemen, to the Drizzy and Morgan Show. Um, once again, shout out to Getz, Kano, and Wretch32. Um, that that Getz album's very good, and it's I recommend it. Uh, what's the song it's for? Is it called Double Standards? Double Standards. You, uh, you can't listen to that once. You have to listen to it multiple times because Dope. there's not an ounce of lying on that record. Dope shit. It's it's yeah. Big up to Getz, man. You yeah. You know what you're getting with Getz. Like, you, you always do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so shout out to them, Record of the what Week. What great evolution, though. 100%, man. From ghetto to what we're getting now. Yeah, man. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? But again, rebranding. <laughs> See what I did there? I like that. I like that. <laughs> Stick with me, well son. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> um, as, as, Ke- as Keisha mentioned just before that, we're going to have a playlist out. Uh, Keisha, are we going to just add to it? Talk to me. Yeah, I think on a weekly basis or as we come across tunes i mean we've got our group chat yeah as we come across tunes or if anyone wants us to listen to a tune they can send it to us yeah um on socials and we can have a listen to it and if we like it we'll add it to the playlist say no more Mm. um let's play a game let's have some fun let's go um dad jokes okay um do you how many do you want to do i got a couple let's see uh I mean, I, yeah. I'll match you what you got. All right, I have nine. I'm one short of ten. Okay, so I we might do... try a freestyle one in my head, but yeah. Okay, all right. So it's just a point system. Mm-hmm. You say yours, I say mine. Okay. And you, do I win? you get a point. Yeah, but besides, if I get a point if you laugh. You get a point if I laugh. Yeah, but what do I win? Like when I win this thing, what do I win? You're already winning. No, that's not running anymore. In this current you want to know uh, what's the prize? climate, no. What do <laughs> I win? I said in this current climate. You want to know the prize? Is it a voucher? Is it a what? We'll figure that. Cool. We'll figure I'll, it. I'll let you know what I haven't got, and then you can uh, <laughs> provide it. All right, let's go. let's go. All right. Do you what? Do we want to do one each, or do we run through it and take the points? Let's do one v one. It so you do one, and I'll fire back. To okay. You, like a verse. Right, okay. Isn't it? Rock paper scissors. You were very late on that. Do, do it again. again. I think do it again. Okay, go ahead. You know it's three it, times. Yeah, I did it three times. Huh? Okay, you did it really fast, bro. You're aggressive. Whoa. I'm, pause. Uh, <laughs> you grew up a groper, bro. I'm aggressive. <laughs> you you, you got to relax, bro. Imagine, imagine the name of the episode is called Grew Up a Grofer. No, I mean, let's not do that. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do that. AKA. Yeah. Okay, dad jokes. Shout out to my Reddit. <laughs> oh, wow. That's crazy. That slippery. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Wow. It's going, it's going on. Watch out now. It's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Mm-hmm. You know what it is? Yeah, I didn't hear what happened or what said, sorry, but Joe's reaction let me know it's something about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I listened I listen to it back in the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Jeez. Shout out to the Redding gang. Yeah. Hey. The Reddit gang just gave me some. They gave, gave me some, some fire. Yeah? Gave me some fire. Okay, yeah. cool. Let's start with one. Right. First dad joke. In my town, is a six hundred pound woman who can reveal the future. She's a four chin teller. <laughs> okay, go for it. All right, let me... Let You're me taking match. the points here, Keish. Let me match yeah, yeah, your yeah, dead yeah. one with a dead one. Why is water wet? Why? Because it's water. It's 
see that? You see how bad your one was? Okay, cool. My one was better. Your one's bad. Okay. I gave you a bad one to match it. Like, this, can we pick up the quality now, please? Yeah. Can we, can we just clarify? The yes. point is for whoever... Laughs, right? Laughs. Yes. Yeah. Whoever makes that person laugh gets a point. All right, yeah. you ready for mine? All right, let's go. <clears throat> what are 10... What are 100 rabbits hopping backwards called? What are 100 rabbits hopping backwards called? I don't know. Receding hairline. That's funny. That's funny. You said you couldn't even hear the birds. That's not quite a, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. What do you call a deer with no eyes? I no idea. A what? I no idea. I have no idea. Okay. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Oh, damn. That's good though that you knew that one. Yeah, because I'm a Thankfully, uh, I tried walkie meat the other day. Oh, that's a pause. It was chewy. Yeah, so um, I'm afraid for the calendar. Because his days are numbered. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Thank you very much, Keish. It was, the, it was off the strip of my one. I know that's my strip for like, I was hot. I, I'm not stupid. Right, I'm not stupid. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let me, let me just take that one out of the, the list. All right. <laughs> What is the most aggressive bat species? What is the most aggressive bat species? What is the most aggressive bat species? I don't know, sir. Do enlighten me. A combat. That's not a bad one still. Yeah. Maybe it's a delivery, man. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, How do you follow Will Smith in the snow? Mm. How? You just follow the Fresh Prince. Look at Keisha, don't, don't bread him. I knew that one already. Uh, you're showing teeth. I won't say you're uh, laughing, but you're definitely you say showing teeth. I said that's a point. Uh, showing teeth. All right. You ready? Okay, good. Oh, no smiling. I don't know. He's nice, cool. Let's go inside. All right. All right. I watched a heartbreaking film about a man's attachment to his truck. I was moving the story along. Back in the day, I used to uh, I used to date a magazine collector. And I find out she's got issues. <laughs> that was a good one. Say that. <laughs> <That's a> good... <laughs> right. You're welcome. All right, what's that? You got two. Two nil, bro. Know. Jesus Christ. All right, cool. I asked my new girlfriend to meet me at the gym. She never showed up. I guess we're both not going to work out. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I know someone who got arrested for drinking battery acid the other day. Thankfully, they wasn't charged. <laughs> don't, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't you fight it. It's on camera. Don't fight it. So my wife is standing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, go so on. My wife is standing looking at herself in the mirror. Mm-hmm. She was not happy with what she saw and said to me, I feel horrible. I look old and fat and ugly. And I really need you to pay me a compliment. I replied, your eyesight's damn near perfect. Shit, you're a tough cookie, isn't it? Yeah. Shit. It's not shifting. Okay. A ghost walks into a bar. Yeah. The bartender says, we don't sell spirits. <laughs> <laughs> lost it. I think it's your face. Did you? I think, I think it's your face, yeah. yeah. I think mean, yeah. it's delivery. Yeah, you got it. You got it. That's three nails. Shit. All right, cool. See if I can get you with this oh, one. Morgan. Why didn't the Terminator upgrade to Windows 10? I asked him and he said, I still love Vista, baby. Okay. Um, how do you keep a person in, the, in suspense? I still love Vista, baby. That's funny. 
Okay. How do you keep a person in suspense? How? Oh. I'll tell you some more. <laughs> don't, fight, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Why did the man fall down the well? Um, because... Because he couldn't see the well. Do you still want to carry on this uh, one, one more. I, slow I, got, I got one more. You got one more, yeah? Yeah, you got one? All right. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point. I got a point. No, no, no. I'm looking at my... my, my. Hey. Uh, okay. uh, what did the child corn say to the mama corn? What? <laughs> Where's popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> That's a point. <laughs> That's a point for me. What? You're fucking. You're, 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 laughing, fucking. At your, you're laughing at your own joke. That is it's funny. my joke. That is funny. Because <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't get it. I was like, this is funny. It is funny. So is that four? Yeah. yeah. Four, four nil. nil. Yeah, I got my I got my last one. Go ahead. And God said to John, "Come forth, and you shall receive eternal life." But John came fifth and won a toaster. <laughs> I got, I got one. Hey. All right, well let's take it by the That's good. Um, yeah, if if there's any suggestions of games you, you want us to play on this show, feel free to message us or email us. In um, we have a new email address. Indeed, we do. Uh, drizzymorgan at gmail dot com. That's drizzymorgan at gmail dot com. Feel free to hit us up on our IG. Can I make a suggestion live on the show? Talk to me. Can we add a section in the show called Idiot of the Week? Okay. As long as that's you you're talking about. What do you mean? Me personally or me? Idiot of the them? Week. I ain't going to be Idiot of the Week. Okay. All right. Can I proceed? Proceed. Idiot of the Week is a woman in Ireland had a car accident in 2017. Oh, shit. She survived. All right. She filed a lawsuit for injuries to her neck and her back. Shout out to uh, Kaya. Okay. And uh, she made she put through a lawsuit to say that due to this accident, she's unable to work. The judge in the case back in 2018 gifted her that lawsuit, so she won mm-hmm. 800K. Shit. Not eight grand, yeah. not 80K, yeah. 800K. 200K short of a meal. A meal. So she won this lawsuit due to the judge going, yes, I believe the injuries you sustained in this car accident mm-hmm. are preventing you from going to work. Right. Pictures have now surfaced. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Where she has willingly taken part in a Christmas tree throwing competition. Christmas tree front competition. What so you're that? basically, it's like, imagine you're playing rounders, but you're just throwing the ball without yeah. like, trying to see who, if you can throw the ball further than your, yeah. your competition. She went on to win this competition. Now, I don't know what she wins for winning this competition. But what I do know is, because she's a dumb someone bitch, and that can reply to anyone, male or female, gender-wise. Yeah. These surface, these pictures have been published by the local newspaper. Oh shit! Because she's obviously won yep. the competition, yep. which is a well-known competition. Mm-hmm. Those attached to the case have gone. Hang on a minute. She looked pretty agile to me. Now you know when you win a financial case, <laughs> you don't get the lump sum. No, you don't. You get it in increments, like installments. Well, guess what? Increments have stopped because now the judge has now said. Based on the evidence that's now been presented to me, I am going to throw this at the case and I'm going to overturn the ruling I made where you are entitled to 800K. Oh my God. And we're putting a stop to it right now. Oh shit. So, because she was so fast with herself, she's now lost. She was being paid before. Yeah. But she obviously hasn't, I don't know, ha- she hasn't she, even reached. She, did, she got some of it. She got some, but not enough. <laughs> like, so the idiot of the week. 
goes out to that young lady in Ireland who thought throwing a tree as part of a competition is a smart idea to do when you could have just chilled out your yard and got your free pee. Fucking hell. For, uh, join us next time for Idiot of the Week. Of the Week. I like that. He's I like definitely that. an idiot. Definitely Thank you very much. Plonker. Because, because if you want, not being funny, if you <laughs> want 800k, yeah. why do you have interest in throwing trees? Yeah. Is it Christmas, specifically Christmas trees? Christmas trees. Why? You know how much energy it takes to pick up Christmas it's trees? Because some, some of them some of them bastards are heavy, heavy you know? Man. Yeah. And they got, some of them got the thorns. And they got all that stuff in it. And it's, yeah. No. Shout out to her, man. To her, man. It's the Drizzy and Morgan show. Show, 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 show. So, Drizzy, can you let know, people know what that yeah, scene Yes, so that was the scene from uh, one of the most beloved franchises in uh, movie history. Uh, that is the uh, Sylvester Stallone-led Rocky franchise. And that was a scene, I believe, from Rocky 3. You're on Rocky 3. And it's a scene with um, Apollo Creed and uh, Rocky. And uh, the actor who played um, Apollo Creed was none other than Carl Weathers, who uh, recently transitioned. Rest in peace. And um, it just felt fitting to use that very motivational speech. There is no tomorrow, which means embrace today, people. Please. Um, we need to embrace today. Um, I think we're embracing today on this podcast in itself. Mm -hmm. um, excuses are all lies far as i'm concerned we make up things in our minds all the time not to do certain mm -hmm. things not to get up not to go to not to go and exercise not to do the right things in yeah. our life and i feel like we need to seize more moments in our life mm -hmm. and i think that was quite fitting to say that there is no tomorrow because you don't know how long you're going to be here for you don't know how long you've got and i feel like you With need thing, to bro, that moment. illness doesn't have a it doesn't have a specific uh, Facts. Timestamp. client or yeah. it doesn't have a specific identity or race or person. It, anyone can get it. Anyone can you know get it. You know what I'm saying? And like, you just have to take into consideration like, wow, I <laughs> have lived a certain life. I've lived a life longer than there's some kids who are born and don't get to be teenagers. Mm. Facts. No... At no decision of their own. They just might have been caught in a crossfire. They could have got knocked down by a drunk driver. Like, kids are transitioning before they even get to be teenagers. Yeah. So when you made it to a certain milestone in your life, which could just be anything, it doesn't have to be like, oh, 16 or 18, 21 or 30. Or you just have to celebrate life, man. Yeah. Me, when people go to me, oh, how are you? I said, yo, I woke up. I'm great. That's a fact. I say a prayer every day in the morning now. Facts. As soon as I open my eyes, I say a prayer. I have to give thanks, bro. I always, I always ask for, um, for, for grace. And I always ask, I don't always give thanks. You pray for me? I pray for us all. Because I pray for everyone. I pray for everyone. I pray that the Lord allows me I prayed to about today. a hub yeah. of support for my family and friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joe's funny. <laughs> it was a scary it doesn't take a shit. I, just doesn't... Asked, I asked uh, Joe if he prays for everyone in the room. And he just started. But I said, you pray for everyone as well? And then he was like, I pray for everyone. I pray, yeah. I yeah. pray, yeah. I think it's important. Yeah. I think it's important. Yeah. It's <clears throat> a nice little item you've got there. 100%. Um, item. So, part of when at the, at the top of the, at the top of the show, I spoke about one of my journeys. Yeah. I will elaborate on the other one um, in, in later on. Yeah, let's, let's keep them wanting more. But first and foremost, I've started reading books again. And um, one of the books, one of the books I've just started to read is called Battle Cry by Jason Wilson. Um, great book. Yeah. And, it's, and it's not too long, which is great because I can get through it this uh, Pause. I can get through it this month. And basically, the book's talking about boiling up your your trauma. Okay. And as men, we're good at that, and we're good at that, mm -hmm. and then letting it out in a in a negative way, mental incarceration, um, the fear of not being vulnerable. I feel like, you know, like so your dad used to say to you. I know my dad used to say to me what say to me. What are you crying for? I'll give you bro, something. I to cried cry in my about. bed the other day. You know, that's good, bro, man. Wow. <laughs> Cried in my bed the other day. Well done, man. 
Netflix, no, I, I, you know the thing is, I'm cool with crying. Like, I don't like to waste my tears on just any and anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when it's time to cry, yeah, yo, I'll let, I'll let, I'll let, I'll let. Uh, you know what I mean? I'll I let, cried, I, I cried for the in front of the missus so I can get like love. I've got sex after that's manipulation. <laughs> You're using She's sympathy using to, yeah. We were just speaking about that on the way here, wasn't we? Yeah, really? these these gropers, man. But anyway, look, um, like. I cried the other day, right? In bed. Don't cry. Is I was he? having a conversation. Huh? How did that make you feel though? Oh no, I, 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 I embrace it. I've, like I said, I've got no problem with crying. If I feel safe around you, comfortable around you. Yeah. Um, I will, and you say something, it doesn't even have to be directly related to me and it evokes that emotion. Yeah. I'll lay it out. I think it's you important. have to be in a good space though, don't you? Like in a good environment in order for you to. Yeah, yeah. I was like talking, that. I was talking about, I was talking about my, like my my um my grandmother yeah bless her soul and um, her soul. I was just like thinking about those times I was around her and like being my mum's firstborn only child at that time mm. and my grand always wanted a boy so her first grandchild being a boy yeah that's crazy. I was bro I was the best thing walking earth yeah. in my grandma's eyes and I used to get away with murder not like I was. Like, uh, a ba- definitely not that. Um, <laughs> Once upon a time. <laughs> oh boy. Sounds like yesterday. But um, I just, uh, I just reminisce. I think, I think it was reminiscing all of the good times. Right. And recently, I have kind of been like searching for like that again. Like, you know, and I'm, I'm lucky enough to have my grandmother on my pop side still right. with us. Cool. But like my grandmother on my mom's side, who I mainly grew up with, like I've been like recently just been like raw. Like sometimes I just reminisce. It's like raw. Grand's probably thinking like, you know what, son? Because she, she in her eyes, I'm her son. Yeah, she doesn't put grand in it. It's just of course, son. And it's just like my mom rents me. But um, yeah, <laughs> it, it it it's just like raw. Sometimes I just reminisce like raw. I feel like my grand would be proud of me, you know. But then I'm like. Something I want to speak to my grand. I just feel like you was really close to her. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're really close to her. Um, and then something I want to say to my mom X, Y, and Z, and then like ah, and then I'm like, I want to speak to my grand about it, and then it hits me like, oh, I can call my mom. I can't call my grand. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. Um, and I think it's just been like bottling up for time, for time, for time, and then when I was having the conversation about it, um, you let it out. I let it out. I was a uh, yeah, I lay it out in the conversation I was having. I lay it out. Yeah. And, uh, mm. yeah. But it felt good. I think mm. it's good, man. It felt good to have a conversation, let well. it out. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't bad t- tears. It was tears of just like, oh, man, like, you know, if I had a time machine, yeah, I would just relive my childhood again. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't go to the future. I'd go back to those times and... Those were good times, bro. 100 yeah. percent Outside was nice. Yeah. Good times. You know summer what I'm saying? Summer was actually summer. Summer summer and summer felt like it was four months. Yeah. And I don't know if that's Remember. a I don't know if that's a, a like a yeah. where you are in your life as like a kid. I think when you're young, no time responsibility is just time just feels like it's just cold. 100%. Six weeks school holidays felt like forever. 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 Right? You want to go back to school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. After point. It was mad. Friends. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so now I and I I'm a big advocate for if you feel like you need to cry, cry. There's movies that made me kind of, you know, yeah, sweat. When you look at my like, who's cutting the onions? Yeah, I've cried in the cinema a couple of times. Bad man can cry. You know what I'm saying? Bad man can cry. Yeah. Um, you know, I think just amongst men, we get told a lot that we're not supposed to, and we need yeah. to bottle up our feelings. And those feelings can be can bottle up so much that it just comes out in the wrong ways. Yeah. And I feel like what what um what Jason said in the book. Um, was that the, that emotions induce tears c- that contain stress hormones? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and those stress hormones yeah. released help you. But that's a lot of baggage to be carrying, bro. Yeah, what I'm yeah. Um, I think men in general, you guys carry a lot because there's an expectation of you guys to be. Con- we're conditioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is a conversation I want to have for another show. Of course. Sure. Do you think that? Do you think it's hard being a man in these in this current climate? But we'll save that for another time. Let's talk about it in the next episode. Yeah. Mm. Okay. 
Because sometimes I feel certain pressure. I you feel that. that. Yeah, yeah. Pause. But yeah, I hear you. You're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Myself. Yeah, you're right. yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah, definitely. Right. Okay, well, it's in the recording now, yeah, so yeah, we'll remember yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Leave, I leave you in the capable hands of uh, Drizzy Freckles. Talk to me. Dilemma of the week. Okay. This is coming from the point of view of uh, a lady. Yep. I'm dealing with a bipolar man, and it makes me sick. First, he dated me for two months and he opened his home to me and my three kids. We moved out of my mom's house and into his town home. I registered my kids in his school district. He gave me a spare room to braid hair and earn money. We had fun and a loving vibe. Mm -hmm. I know he loves me and my and adores my kids, but in all caps, just to further emphasize, I made one mistake. And he threw us all out. Wow. My side dude stopped by to get his braids done what? and to borrow some money. I also gave him a quick blowjob. I did not know <laughs> there was a camera in the braided room or I wouldn't have slipped up like that. I apologize, <laughs> but Mr. Bipolar switched up on me and he threw me, in the, threw me and the kids and all our things in the front yard. I took what I could fit into the Uber I can't believe how he snapped and turned on us like that. I can. What relationship red flags did I miss? I'm so scared to be vulnerable with a man again. Advice. I'm in absolute shock. I'm in absolute shock. Okay. I'm in shock as to why she's in shock. Hmm. Yeah. Keys, you start this one off. Please. Um, Just... I can't even see because I've been busting up laughing off, off cam. But... <laughs> <laughs> What so, did she think was going to happen? You, uh, someone takes you in with you and three, three of your kids. children, which is already... An audacity. Wu Tang Clan. Right? <laughs> and then... He, and then did he... <laughs> Bro, you know, you know, you know, I make Joe crack. Bro, I'm the worst because I'm very immature. Okay, so big and serious. Yeah. He's taking you in with your kids. Yeah. Three of them. And three of your picnic. Yeah. yeah. And yourself. Yeah. For four. I'm assuming. Because you're acting like a kid. Yeah, so. I'm assuming he was. Financially providing as well. Sounds like sort. it. Well, because he, he gave him a, a whole room. Yeah, to do a, a little a, side hustle. Uh, yeah, right. So right. To braid, invested, to braid. So yeah. he's invested in her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what you're telling me is she just cheated. The payback. Uh, X. Sorry. No. No. Let me. Let me. Uh, she gave her ex a blowjob no, in no, the no, studio. No. 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 no not what in the same studio? He... X means past tense. No, it's a side. My side dude, active. How do you have a side dude when you've got a like? This is this is the thing. Us women, we want a man. Yeah. And we want this and we want that. We want provider, this and the other. What, you're out there just going giving some guy a blowjob? Random other guy? Well, this is not, not random. just any blowjob. It's a side thing. Side not just that's any that's blowjob. It was a blowjob that was recorded because, in her words, not mine, I did not know there was a camera in my braiding room or I wouldn't have slipped up like that. So she's just... Because the evidence is there. She can't deny it. But if the evidence wasn't there... She would have got away with it. She would have got away with it. And, wow. what did the, and what advice does she want from us? This is this is why men don't trust women. She wants us to be Thanos and just like, what are we doing? Like, the advice is, accountability. leave the good man alone. Please. Take your free picnic. And go well, about your business. And just go about your business. And no, go with your side dude. Yeah. See if your side dude Follow can... Follow your side dude. Who can... Nah, this is absolutely brazy. What? So I've just seen a clip of... No, 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 no. No, the Some... clip's not online, is it? No, I've just seen a clip of Burner Boy on stage and he's got a Donny behind oh, yeah. him. Oh, yeah, his belt. Fingering up his belt. We've got to relax. What? And Burner Boy's done choose a puff. It. What? Nah, it's... Wait, hold up. Look. I saw that earlier. What? What's going on here, bro? Fixing what we belt. did? You can't just tell everyone, just give me two minutes and I'm going to... Yeah. Uh, nah, uh, come yeah. on. Oh, what's that? Nah, nah, nah. That's freak off. That's freak off behaviour. I, is that but that might be the you know the, what, yeah the, you know your, yeah but what, the, the, the wink, person that just the fixes wink at the up. petrol station yeah yeah but it probably should be a woman right it doesn't matter who it is do it off stage that, this is yeah. that that is one wink away from and where it station. is as well yeah, that's a whole pause 
Yeah, but a wink at the petrol station could lead you to, to them type of <laughs> <laughs> I told you that wink is deadly. This podcast could be a few a few titles. The wink at the petrol station. <laughs> All right. So, Willie Winker. So All right. in, in, in a nutshell, that woman should just leave the poor man alone. Absolutely. Facts. Bipolar or not, he, he, he you don't do that. No, you don't do that. 100%. All right. We move. We move. These we move. two donnies are bonkers. 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 Documentaries, movies, TV shows. I am watching mm-hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Mm. Did I put you up on that? You did. Okay. No, I didn't say it just to be no, like, you a actually humble did. brag. I was just like... No, you did. Because I like to share with people good shit. No, you you, you definitely put me on. Yeah. 100%. How are you and I, it? I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Um, there's a bit of everything in there. Mm-hmm. Um, actors, Donald Glover and yeah. Francesca Sloan are two strangers. Not, her name does not sound how she looks. She doesn't, yeah. yeah. Where's where she yeah. from? Uh, I want to say like... I want to say Japanese. I'd like to say that as well. Yeah. But she's definitely from that community. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's beautiful as well. Absolutely. Like, but it's weird, but well, she's not, keep, oh. like, she's not, like, she's not obviously, um, yeah. she's not yet like your obvious, like, just aesthetically, just, just, right. but it's her person, it's weird, it's the way she is, her person, you know her she, character. You know when I was like, yeah, red dress, <sighs> say nothing. Red just does it for you guys, though. Absolutely. Say, say nothing. Jessica Rabbit, uh, this one, there's Betty a couple Boo. of them. That episode was dark, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That was a dark episode. Like, when I watched it, I was like... The okay, dog the, scene. Yeah. Right that, there, like, the, the, the barking. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, wait a minute, am I watching the same thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and the missus was like, raw. And is... that Donnie, he's in, been wait, in better films. Yeah. How far have you got? Five. Oh, I'm not going to say that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Oh, yeah. Five. You're ahead of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I good. love the show. I love the show. Initially, it was meant to be someone from uh, a show called Fleabag. I never heard of that. She, the girl, who, the woman who's the head of the, uh, like the headline out for Fleabag, she was meant to be his his uh, co star. Right. Apparently, there's a little bit of like creative control yeah. bumping heads. Right. And then we we've now ended up with the lady we have now. But I just feel like Donald Glover is. Making it happen. I'm, I'm trying to think, what can he not do? He's From really good actor. He's a Atlanta. really good actor. He's a really good actor. Lando. It's a shame about what happened with Atlanta. It just, I, mean, I fell off that. Oh, did you? Yeah, I just, I liked maybe the first two seasons and then it started to get weird. Same, actually. Same. Did, you see, did you see the Michael Jackson one? What season is that? Cause if I it, think that might have been three. No. The same season as no, Cat, Cat Williams. Two, no. Is it two? I feel like that and Cat Williams is the same season, though. So the seat. Se- are you talking about an episode when he's like in all white and stuff? <laughs> Brother. Yeah, I didn't see that. It yeah. took me a while to get oh, over yeah, that yeah, image, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's one of the wildest, funniest, creepiest. It's the writing. The writing yeah. was the writing started well and then the writing just went, okay. went weird. But anyway, let's give Shout you a uh summary of this. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Mr. Smith. Two strangers who identi- uh who are independently agreed to become secret agents for a mysterious organization undercover as a married couple using the names John and Jane Smith. Mm-hmm. The couple must work together through missions as their espionage skills and develop relationships at the same time. And this series, if the name rings a bell, this series is based off the movie yeah. okay. that caused uh, Jennifer Aniston, a.k.a. It's Rachel from Friends, to uh, break up with a uh, man like Brad Pitt because yeah. this is where he met uh, Angelina right. Jolie. Angelina Jolie's her lips are something else. Yeah. There needs to be, yeah. yeah. So uh, do you think they were acting when they were? The I think I think if you watch Mr. and Mrs. Smith now, knowing how what happened, we got you look at that film totally different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like that's just like a couple. Yeah. Getting, to, get, to getting film together, getting together. They yeah, were getting yeah. together on yeah, the yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. They, were get, they got together. I don't on think the there's no that. acting in that. Hundred like, percent. Like two, two, two people who are very attractive. Yeah, what are we doing? So, what I related to with this, which is like, I'm weird. I'm not a. I like romantic stuff. Mm-hmm. I like watching romantic stuff. I'm not a romantic type of person. Okay. I do things for my wife, which is great. Of course. She she stayed with me 17 years, so I'm I'm doing, doing something right. right. Yeah. But um. But I like watching romantic stuff. I, what, what was funny though is the episode because you've both watched it is where she farts in bed. I haven't seen that one. But Karen, it's not a spoiler. Well, she farts in bed, yeah, yeah. 
and gets up and pretends that someone's yeah. walking around yeah. like outside of the room yeah. and he doesn't clock it. No, he acts like he doesn't clock it. Yeah. And at the end of the show, they're lying down together after one yeah. of their missions and he's like, baby, you can let it out if you want to. <laughs> She got. She gets up to go. I need to go for a walk. Yeah, I'm like yeah. what for? She's so like, for you farting in beds. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's normal now. I'm not gonna lie. I can't fart and fart in my partner. Really? No. Oh damn. It's, yeah. Uh, like as much as um, my you got trapped. You got. Like, you have to. Be... You keep, keep trapped wind. No, but I don't keep it in. I'm just go, go I to just the bathroom. Do it in front of him. Yeah. Right. Okay. Do you do you think you're gonna? Do you think that's gonna be something that you kind of. How long have you been with your partner, if you don't mind me asking? Um, it, I was On about, behalf of my client, she's talking about previous relationships. Yeah. Okay. 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 Not current. Why I'm asking the question yeah. is because eventually you're going to have to just give it up. That's what I thought. But, but we I thought it would be pass. willing to compromise. Mm-hmm. If he set, because look, she's so set in a ways in regards to that yeah. level of respect that yeah. if he goes up, babes, don't worry about it. Yeah. It might take her a while to get yeah. over that. Yeah, because yeah, my herself. miss is just. Bl- 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 I will hear her from another room. Is it? Yeah, she's yeah, she's that loud as well. She's brazy with it. What a seat! Uh, before we jump out of, I love her though. One, of course, that's not. It's never in question, my brother. <laughs> um, I like this. I like the scene in episode two. There was two scenes. There was a moment where he went. He was doing. He was meditating. Yep. And Max the cat left her bed. Of right, yeah, yeah. I went outside. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, he's outside meditating. Let me not disturb him. Yeah. Then she start typical going through his stuff. Yeah. And then he walked in and he just stood there watching her. <laughs> and I can't remember what he said to her. Almost like, you found what you're looking for. Yeah, like, she looked at her, oh, yeah, I was just checking to see. He's like, oh, okay, no, yeah, cool. Yeah. And I like his dry humor because then he looked at her. She goes, anyway, I'm going to go get uh, breakfast. What do you want? And he goes, yeah, by the way, while you're out, I'm going to just look for your stuff. Your stuff. Then he went to the laptop and saw it. Opened it up. And then he was like, what's on this tab here? Yeah. Wildness. Wild, the wild thing. But then she tried to act like she set that up yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, nah, you, you're into your little kinks. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Buffy. You're into little kinks. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, oh and then. Oh my God. I liked. <laughs> I liked. Uh, I liked um, <laughs> the. I liked when they agreed in that same scene. Yeah. When he was eating the breakfast. Like he was. He Listen, he's realized if I'm staying with you and we're meant to be a couple, we should be the couple in things. 100%. We should be exchanging bodily fluids. Straight. So and she's like, oh, no, no, no. I'm kind of not into the no, I'm into the no sex thing arrangement. She goes, you cool with that? And he's like, ah, it's mm. like a real man. He was like, mm. you know what? No sex is going to hurt. <laughs> and he goes, all right, cool. Let's sh- shake on it. Then he pu- pulled out the popcorn. That's how you get them, you know, the popcorn. They got a nice crib though in New York. They got a nice got crib brownstone in New York. set up, but yeah, it's a vibe. It's Prime Video, so it's free to watch. Yep, enjoy. Um, unfortunately, Prime have now included adverts in their shit. Oh bollocks! So now you can watch a movie, and then an advert will just pop up. Fucking same with something else as well. Yeah, <sighs> Netflix. Mm-hmm. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, if you've got anything that you can recommend to us to watch, um, feel free to. What's the email I have something I can recommend. Go on, Keish. Hello. You watch. Not all together because it's, it's not on it's black.com, raunchy. is it? Yeah, <laughs> on what um, is it? for some reason on my Netflix, my algorithms are suggesting oh, here we go, just the madness at the moment. So mm-hmm. I'm watching it. Go for it. Um, there is a Netflix series mm-hmm. started that's just started featuring Kelly Rowland. Mm-hmm. It's called Mia Culpa, aka Cheeks Clapping. Um, and basically she's a criminal defense attorney. Right. And yeah, the guy that she's trying to represent is a, um, she takes on the case of a murder case for the guy. And yeah, the truth isn't as obvious as it all seems. What's it called? Uh, Mia Culpa. Mia Culpa. All right. Check it out. It's, it's a yeah. show about, it's a show about painting. I got one. Um, if you haven't watched it, the Vince Staples show. Yes. What's that called? The Vince Staples show. That's what I said. Okay, I'll check and that out. Where, okay. where can we watch it? Netflix. 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 Okay. Come on. Netflix. And yep. there's a new show out called Shogun. If you like, do you like Samurai shit? Yes, I do. Oh. Shogun, Disney Plus. Right, there's a few. Yeah. Okay, what are what we going to review in a fortnight then? Can we review Mia Culpa? Because I would love to hear you guys' take on that. 
Okay, say nothing. Because do you know what it is? It's got just Wait, so much twists and turns. Twist and it's turn, mad. twist and turn. Uh, and also, if you've watched it, yeah, already, anyone that's watching, comment your thoughts so we can see your take on it. You guys can see your take on it. I'm gonna wrap up the the the, the um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith because it's only like eight episodes anyway, and then I'll. I well, yeah, and the subject sending us things. If you know of a dilemma or you see of a dilemma and you'd like us to dissect it on the show, please send it to the email address, which is. Uh, Drizzy Morgan at Drizzy Morgan Show, I shall say. Drizzy Morgan Show at gmail.com. Thank you very much, sir. It's the Drizzy and Morgan Show. 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 Sports. Show, 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 um, briefly, Paul Pogba, four years doping ban. He is. Damn. What was that like? Is that it? Has it. He's appealing, he's appealing it, right? Yeah, yeah. right. What a very. Uh, uh, detailed statement in response to the uh, decision that was made. Yeah. And I won't go into detail, but he said he's going to appeal it. Right. And he said he's never knowingly or unknowingly taken, no, he's never knowingly taken anything that would give him any type of in edge hearts. over anyone else. But they all say that. Yeah, but he's always been an athlete per se. Like Pogba's always had the body of someone who could, if he trained a certain way, he could be a sprinter. 100%. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. He has that agility. He has that, yeah. He's just got that. But, you know, you know what the streets... You yeah, know, but the then streets wasn't talking. he like burying hyenas in Old Trafford and that? No, 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 never that. Um, <laughs> the, the streets have been saying that his brother... <laughs> Listen, his brother if you got this far <laughs> on the podcast, put a emerge of a hyena in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Nah, we... we nah, nah. Shout to, shout to my boy. Shout to my boy, Pogba. You want to you wanna clearly give him the benefit of the doubt like I do. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. And if he's appealing it, there's that where I can say... I, I just think, yes, I just think because yeah. if that's the case, clearly he should have been found out years ago. Yeah. Around the World Cup, when he was balling for Juventus, even when he came over here. Wouldn't it when show he up gave, in previous tests? Huh? At least, wouldn't it have shown up in previous Something tests? Something would have shown up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, which would was... then go, oh, well, this shows as a little, oh, that's interesting. We've got yeah. a little spike here. Let's go to more detail and do another thorough one. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it's going to be interesting how this thing plays out. 100%. He just hasn't had the rubber the green. No. Um, and yeah, it's He's a footballer. Sad. He's a footballer that had so much more potential than he, than he actually reached. His glass ceiling was higher than others, and I feel like he was getting very close to that. He didn't reach the heights I wanted to reach for my club. Yeah. I can hold my hands up. I'm not blind. Mm. He's still one of my favorite players of the new generation. Yeah. And when he was on job, he was a sight to see on yeah, the pitch, man. Yeah. And it just breaks my heart. Even in our Man United group, some guys are so anti, like, yeah, good on him, F him. No, I'm like, you nah, can't you be can't, like that. Nah. No, nah, I know he didn't reach the heights you wanted to at the club, but he was our player. He's homegrown as well. So I'm a yeah. little bit more attached. Like, this is, But this is what you got to remember as well, Drizzy. This podcast is about love. It is. And I, and empathy. I, I reach out to Pogba because he must be feeling absolutely shit right now. Yeah. The thing you love doing, the thing you've dedicated your life to, you've made so many sacrifices as a kid. There's the documentary on Netflix, right? Or something like that yeah. about him. Yeah. The things you went through, and then just to be told, yeah, we found something in something you probably had that's got that in it. Four years, four I just, years. I, I I don't I don't want to say too much, and I don't want to be like I don't want it to be a thing where we're kind of, you know, what's the word uh, piling on him. Yeah, it is. He is what it is. Yeah, 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 of course. He's appealing it, and we'll wait to see what the results come back from that, and then yeah. we can address it in due course. Marcus yeah. Rashford put a statement out recently. Now, this is the problem I have with Marcus Rashford. I think he's another talented player. Mm -hmm. He's again, he's got a high ceiling, mm -hmm. but I this year especially, his season. this season I should say, he's not putting his best foot forward. And I know, like on the pitch, on the pitch, and yeah, well, on and off the pitch, yeah, because yeah, because yeah. you know what it's like in football. Yeah. Okay, cool. You go out. I don't. I don't care. You go out. People go out. He's young. You know what I mean? He's got money. Does his mm -hmm. thing, but. Let that translate on a pitch as well, and then no one's got nothing to say about you. you see what yeah, I'm saying? I think I think it was miss. I think the intentions was good. Yeah, I just think the target was you didn't get the whole target because you kind of had to address the fans as well. Yeah, um, and I think he kind of did in regards to like, don't ever question my commitment to Manchester United. Yeah, it broke down. 
how much he wanted to be at United and how certain things happened and he still came it still all came back to Manchester United. But yeah. I, as a Manchester United fan, I as someone who's part of the uh King Rashford of of the North of Manchester fan club, I just need him just to go, all right, you lot are doubting me. And he did say it when people when too many people love me, I get suspicious. But when people doubt me, I love it. Right. I just need him to do his talking on the pitch. Do you think he needs another another club? No, absolutely not. Let's he's, not do that. He's a, he, right, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying yeah, that. Yeah, I know what I, you mean. Because yeah. he is the poster child for Man United. Yeah. He's the main Don there. Yeah. So no, maybe, I, just, I just think... Yeah. Because his brothers is his agent and stuff like that. I just think, like, sometimes you need to extract family from certain things. Yeah. You need to keep family around you to keep grounding yeah at the same time you need to have someone around you who's not that uh so uh close close to you to be able to pull to put themselves out of the box and yeah. go Morgs. not someone objective that can say mm. and that's what when you rest in peace i feel like michael jackson lacked yeah a few of those just a balance out the yes man yeah it's hard um Pause. and i just think i just think that um russia needs someone like me I I'd I'd be willing to 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 be that guy to be like, yo, bro, here's the thing, yeah. You see this football thing. If you're not if you if you're one of those lucky ones that don't get injured, you have a Which he is career, yeah, yeah. Effective, yeah. Yeah. You can have a very prosperous career in this thing, but it's still a short window. Mm -hmm. And then if you have injuries, that window's even shorter. Mm. Trust me, my brother, just focus on this thing now. Reach the heights of the heights where People start having conversations about, you know what, yeah, right now, for the past two, three seasons, this Donny's been one of the best players in the world, right? No one can tell you nothing when you're delivering on the pitch. You will trip up off yeah, the pitch. Of course. It's only right. You're human. Yep. But if you're delivering on the pitch, football should bring football should be your your escape and you know, help your your mental state and all that. If you deliver on the pitch, bro, no one can chat to you when you do your stuff outside of the pitch, like Jack Grealish is a perfect example. Yeah. We all know Jack Grealish, man. Don't leave him near a tap and a, and a, and a glass boy. Bro. He'll drink the house down. <laughs> but when he gets on the pitch, yeah. when Pep allows him to, he'll do a little thing. But yeah. you just have to give them, not give them anything to talk about because you're delivering. 100%. And I totally agree with you. You know, just, so... Yeah, yeah, I think he just needs to get back to his best. Yeah. Stay out, stay out, stop the PR stunts. No, nah, more stay. like stay in. Yeah, stay out, yeah. stay in. You know what I mean, um, quickly, uh, FA Cup quarterfinals: Manchester United versus Liverpool. Going to be interesting. Um, we'll world have a football converse. got what they wanted, huh? Yeah, well, got football what they wanted. Biggest, biggest game. Even though obviously we're both at different ends of the spectrum at the moment. True. Yeah, but it's still a big game of football, and any, are you, anything can happen in are a you derby. Scared? No, no, not not this game. Let me finish. Are you scared of what's on the cusp of happening? In regards to that process of looking for a new manager, because you haven't had it, for I'm, a while. I'm, I'm I'm apprehensive. But what I, I what I say what I say in my group chat yeah. is I'm not going to dwell on or uh, over analyze what's going to happen next. I'm just trying to embrace now, today and having Klopp here because what is important. Klopp weather stay. Yeah, it's not about tomorrow. That's right. Day. Hundred percent. All right. Cool. Um, Shout to Chelsea fans. Keish, yeah. could you read? Uh, Match week 28 fixtures for me, please. Yeah. Um, Sunday the 9th. Sunday the 9th. I mean, Saturday the 9th. Sorry, Saturday the 9th. Um, Man United versus Everton. Okay. Bournemouth versus Sheffield. Uh-huh. Crystal, pa Crystal Palace versus Luton. Mm -hmm. Wolves versus Fulham. And Arsenal versus Brentford. Man United versus Everton is going to be an interesting fixture. Mm. You lot are trying to catch Tottenham. Mm. So I think that next game... Um, that's that's an important game for you. Yeah, I mean, we had a nice little run of games where we were just winning. Yeah. Uh, we were just winning, winning, winning. And we had that slip up against uh, Fulham. Yeah. But then we obviously um, got back to winning ways after that. But yeah, uh, Tottenham have, I think we can catch them, but we just have to be wins or draws. Has wins to be. draws because Tottenham have fumbled. Have you, got a, have you got to play them again? Before the season I finishes, we, I think we do. Right, yeah, so that could yeah. be interesting. Yeah. The other interesting uh, fixture in on that Saturday night is Arsenal Brentford. Obviously, Arsenal yeah. are going after the title. Yeah. Well, <coughs> Brentford do like playing Arsenal, don't they? They love them. Yeah. And Brentford's one of them weird teams. They could be 
trash on their day and then they can just pull something out of the bag yeah. and spoil once you your got, fun. Once you got a gunman like Ivan Tony, then yeah. you know what I mean? Anything, yeah. anything bro. So, Sunday like, fixtures. Quiche, uh, temp. We've got Aston versus Tottenham. Aston Villa, Tottenham. Aston Villa, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Brighton versus Nottingham Forest. Yep. West Ham versus Burnley. And Liverpool versus Man City. There you go. So that's the game. Yeah. Sunday game. Mm-hmm. Arsenal will hope that that is a draw. Yeah. And we both drop points. Yeah. Um, City are going to want to need to... I don't know. They might feel like they need to go win that game at Anfield because obviously there's still, a, there's still a point behind us yeah. even, when, even when all the fixtures are finished. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be interesting. I'm hoping by then we get some of our big big guns back. Salah's still missing. Yeah. Um, Trent. Trent. I think Sabozlai is benched. To, uh, Nunes came on against uh, Nottingham Forest. Um, Allison. You're right there. Um, and there's one other player. Endo. Thiago. Endo got like a little, little knock. Little, little, little knock. Thiago, you're a Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, so yeah, that's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting fixtures. Um, before we wrap up the show, I want a big shout out to the uh, Copology gang, Man Like Blue, Lee, Grizz, Itch, Gilly, Sam, E, Spange, G-Force, Teach, Jar, Bingy, Amit, Big Flash, pause, Steph, DA, <laughs> Jerome, Mo, my cousin, shout out to Mo, Shine, Yao, Safo, and the rest of the gang on a big you lot up. We had a good time in the final against Chelsea. We all linked up in West Elin, had a blast, got the result, won another trophy, boom, 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 Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Um, <laughs> we want to thank you people for listening to the show today. As you can see, we're back at it. And we're going to have a great year this year. We want you to interact with us. We want you to um, to let us know how you feel. Send suggestions in. We are we want to do this podcast for you guys, especially. So uh, do not hesitate to reach out to us. Um, when we come back in a fortnight, I do want to talk about me losing a stone of weight. Hey. Health is wealth, guys. How many times have we heard that today? Twice. This is the second time I've told you. Don't do that. You told it to Keish. I overheard that conversation. You told it to the people at this, the spot. And they didn't even ask you. You just, just told them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, oh, by the way, yeah, uh, yeah. can I get order of this and this? But by the way, did I tell you that? Um, Crazy man. Yeah. Yeah, no, I want to encourage you, but at the same time, I just feel like this guy. Six, point, six point three five kg. Do you know how hard it is to so lose how, a stone? What, so what's your kg now? Uh, I don't know. And it's uh, 14 pounds, and I lost it in three weeks. And so how much did you initially weigh? 18 sir? stone. What's that in kg? I don't know. God damn, bro. I thought, since you was going to beat out, I thought you was going to come with the it, metrics. and Yeah. I just want to see if you've... If you've uh, why are we, what, 100, what, what were we saying? It? Oh, KG, man. like, what is he down to now? How many pounds is he down to now? Uh, stone? Um, uh, 17. 17 stone. What's yeah. that in pounds? One second. In KG. In KG, sorry, yeah. 107. Okay. So my, my goal is to be about 15. 15. Yeah, for my height, I should be about 15 stone. Yeah. So 95.25. Six foot three. Um, that's my current right now. That's how much you weigh. That's how much I weigh right now. Calm. Since the start of the year. Yeah, brilliant. I don't. So by I, the time I, I might get well. Yeah. I don't want to tell people quite yet why. Why I've lost so much weight. I want to. It's a journey. Yeah, it's, a, it's a journey. Mm. Okay. That's it's cool. a journey. Um, and we're gonna probe you. Pause. On on life in your forties as well. No, I don't want to listen. We'll probably. First of all, um, for someone who grew up being a groper and then say pro, <laughs> I don't want a part of that. Are we, I don't are we part still going to go with this? Right. <laughs> I don't want a part of that. So, so I'm just putting that out there. All right. So listen, people, we are available on all relevant DSP platforms. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also, follow us on our YouTube channel, which is now at Drizzy Morgan Show. See, senor. 
Make sure you check that out. Shout out to Jojo Mantana. Thanks for being here, cuz. We love you. Blessings. Shout out to Key. She did a great job today. Yeah. You done know the done know. We will be back in a fortnight, people. And we will leave you with a record off Schoolboy Q's new album. Playing from Morgan Heights Cypher. Called Pig <laughs> Feet. Featuring Alex. Childish Major. Ladies and gentlemen, we're signing out. God bless you. Drizzy and Morgan show. Yes, sir. Stay blessed. Peace, people. People. people.